That's that's nice, Esme. Yeah. I mean, she eats. When people pe smell like that, it's not normal. Yeah, like like yeah. When people smell like cats, that smell like cat food. It's not normal. I mean, what designates it as cat food? Like, if I feed my cat a diet primarily made up of people, is, does that mean people are cat food? If it's packaged, yeah. if like there's whiskers on the tin that you get it from, regardless of what's in it, it's cat food. So if it's. Okay, guys, what the fuck are we talking? <laughs> Can we just play <laughs> the Welcome to the stream. What, what if? What if? <laughs> you know, what whiskers if we played some D and D? Yeah, yeah. Aaron, yeah. I'd like you to finish your thoughts, but. Apparently other people okay, no, 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 let's, let's, let's hear this a little bit. Whiskers, soil, and green. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, if you put whiskers on anything, does that mean, like, you could run around and, like, draw whiskers on your enemies and be like, sick him, Shiba! Darn, do you not need to inter introduce the stream? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm actually... There's no like, way Esme is gonna way. die screaming. There's no better way to introduce the stream than talking about cat food made out of people. Yeah, I love you, Darn. <laughs> Since I'm professional, <laughs> I will not respond with negative words. Fuck you, Neil. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darren. This is episode five of Do War Ford's Dream of Electric Sheep. I am Darren, the Dungeon Master, and going from left to right, we have Amy, our first. Um, I'm Amy, as I'm playing Isadora Tanner, um, a bard who is slightly less certain about going into this cave than she was before. Uh, well, uh, oh, sorry. sorry, Darren, technically, yes, yeah, she's a magic, she's a magic user. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's a witch. Go on, Ian. Uh, Alright, so I'm Ian, I'm playing Wizard Salt Fuel, a goblin pa paladin. Um, I'm looking forward to this cave, to be honest, but that, that's just me. Uh, Good job know. on pronouncing paladin right, Ian. Yay! Thank you. Um, I'm Axel, I'm playing Renan Redcastle, the human fighter, and I'm also excited to go into the cave because there's shiny things down there. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm Neil, I'm playing Esme N uh, Nilo, and Darren is in love with me and won't admit it, and I don't understand why. He's shy. <laughs> Story arcs, man, you can't just... <laughs> <answer> <laughs> Episode yeah. three of season one. What is this? <laughs> Every NPC is in love with me. Like that's it, Coda. Oh yeah, I'm Laura. I play Coda, who is I, he promises not to shoot anyone in the back in this session. <laughs> yeah, he will. That's gotta be me. Gotta be. God, I hope so. Uh, it's gotta be me. <laughs> and hi, I'm Andrew, and I play Tenshu Aru. And I could take or leave going into the cave. I mean, if there's going to be more of those shiny fruit that people seem to care so much about, then, like, <laughs> by all means. I thought you were going to say, hi, I'm playing Tenshiru, and this is the longest any of my Arakocker names have lasted. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm too professional to respond to that. Oh! Uh, so yeah, there's that. When we last left off, our lovely heroes were taking shelter in the mouth of the cave. And basically, we're getting prepared to descend below. People watching the stream probably think we all hate each other in real life. Sorry. Is that, not what the, is that not what we're trying to like, show here? <laughs> we don't all hate each other. We just all hate Neil. Wow. wow. <laughs> Oh! Things I didn't need, but thanks. I like you, Neil. It's okay. Yeah, I know you don't, Ian. Yeah, I said I like you. <laughs> I voted for you. Oh, but okay, yeah. I won't anymore. I hate you too, Neil. Now, Neil. Oh, peer pressure, nice. peer pressure. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's, let's go small. Let's go okay, yes, those, those are not teeth on the entrance of the cave. They are just basically indications that on the left here is the wagon. The big old wagon he's arrived in, and there's like some crates and such. And yeah, wagon. Yeah, wagon. Boo. I'm sure the horses are there somewhere too. I couldn't be airs drawing a top-down version of a horse. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Um, but yeah, essentially, when you wake and stir and get some breakfast into you, uh, Tom, the head uh, gnome, kind of indicates like, right, let's get going. Um, he has like you know crossbow in his hand, his uh, 
right hand man Richard has a crossbow in his hand. Seems to be like um, you know, okay, uh, no, um, and essentially the um, dwarf and tiefling bodyguards that like were hired alongside you, they kind of get gear up. One gnome stays behind and starts to kind of go around the uh, camp and putting down like kind of like it's just smaller than a fist sized rock, like a really nice gemstone. And he like before he places it on the ground, he kind of like blows on it, and it kind of starts to glow. And he puts it down like a, an illusion of a gnome with a crossbow that's like sleeping or resting like up against something appears and he puts several of them around so it looks like the camp is a hell of a lot more populated than it is and he explains to you that he's going to be essentially staying behind to watch the cart and make sure like you know nothing like a, a, a cave bear doesn't come in and be like I'm going to live here now so that so when we come back you have to teach me how to make those And her trade secret, but okay. Maybe. Ah, yay! Do your job and maybe. Uh, the others, um, the other gnomes turned. Did we lose someone on Roll20 or am I going now? No, it's just me. Okay. okay. Yeah, that was both. So yeah, then the gnomes um, turned to you and it's like, okay, anybody who can't like see in the dark, y'all got your torches ready? Indeed yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So, he's like, right, everybody stick close and let's, you know, have fun together. And him, uh, the two gnomes kind of take point and start walking forward. Without torches, because gnomes can see in the dark. I'd so, like to go in immediately after the gnomes. I'll go in afterwards. Uh -huh. I'll cool. I'll go in. You have two parts to choose from. <clears throat> The gnomes don't really seem to have a preference, and dwarf and tiefling bodyguards are kind of just trailing up behind, like just essentially watching left and right, making sure nothing gets the jump on you. So, w which of the gnomes came in with us? Um, Tom and Richard. Okay. Is there no uh, one called Reginald? Did I write that? Yeah, I wrote down. There's a gnome yeah. called Reginald. Yeah, that was back in the store. Oh, okay, so he's back at the store. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So Tom and Richard are with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if Reginald was with us, we could make Tom, Jack, and Harry, Larry Joe. Okay. So. The guy in my oh, yeah. card is named Harry. <laughs> Alright, so uh, which way do you just want to go, guys? Left! Right! Right! right. <clears throat> so, you mean down this way? Like basically descending south on the map, yeah. No, I was I was thinking we head west on the map. Ah, okay, yeah. If that's what people want to do, you can. Is it bad that I have to turn my head upside down to be able to tell which way we're going? I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it's not the ideal. Just think you're going in like use the ruler. So, be like, are we ah. going this way? Down the smaller path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can all bunch together. And touch each other's butts. Okay. Are the gnomes okay. gonna go in front of us, or are we gonna take the front? Um, it's up to you. Uh, the gnomes enter the cave in front, but you guys can kind of be like, "Let us go first. I mean, they're very squishy. Gnomes are incredibly squishy. Can I put myself in front of them and take the lead? Yeah, of course. They have, like they kind of get the idea of what you're trying to do, and they're like, "Yeah, okay." Anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna step over them. Guys, what? guys, what? 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 Right here. What? Um, do we want to go in with fire in the front? Yes. Okay. I'm just saying that there is a sneaky route that we could potentially start with. But if we want to go with fire in the front, I'm totally cool with that too. Well, if you want to sneak, then you can sneak. We don't even need to really sneak. We can just kind of move in the darkness with the fire behind us. But I don't know. What would guys, you guys prefer? Like, technically, I can shoot over these gnomes' heads with my bow if there's problems. And also, let them get eaten. Or whatever. No, they have to pay us. We don't want them to get eaten. Okay, that's fair. Well, I don't know. What, what are, do people have... I think, I think if we let the gnomes die, then we get paid less. The, uh, well, I'm not planning on letting them die. Okay. But I was more, think if in, I was more thinking, what do we think about the, the, the like, approach in darkness attack in light kind of idea. 
or... or perhaps the people you can see in the dark can go ahead first. Yeah, and the, the fire to the back. Fine. What do people? Okay. Um, hey, no, gnomes. What were the gnomes again, Darren? I forgot uh, the... Tom and Richard. Dick. Tom and Dick. Rich, Richard and Tom. Okay. Um, Rich, Tom, you are gonna yeah. keep keep the lead. I will follow close behind you with my bow out and prepared to shoot whatever comes at us in the face. Um, sound good? Uh, they, yeah, they won't nod. They're like, yeah, I'm okay. Um, Coda, please don't shoot me in the back. I can go ahead if it makes you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Who else can see in the dark other than me? I can. I can. So the three must go on ahead and leave the fire to the back? Not abandon them. Just kind of like... Oh no, just move on ahead a little so we can scout it out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. And if anything goes to shit, we'll, we'll, we'll signal by screaming. Scream and run. Scream and yeah. run. Stand oh. and fight. Scream and run. Stand and fight. Well, well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a PDF. Get away. Onwards! Yeah, you progress fine. It's just when you get to about halfway down this cavern, an incredibly thick, disgusting stench hits your nose. Razbit, did you coat one? It's like a combination of basically like an animal's den and corpses. Uh, that was not me. Okay. Um... Richie, Tom, there's stinkies. Why is there stinkies? They're always behind us, aren't they? Or did we not go on ahead? No, uh, they're still with us. I would have thought that we kept them. Our friends. Madeline, what lies before us in the dark? So you guys are approaching, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so essentially what you guys see is like a very large shape. And when you approach, it starts to get up and all of a sudden it's like... And uh, before you is a wild boar, a very big one. Shoot it in the face! And it is going to charge straight on into whoever's in front. I reckon I'd probably be front. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Uh, oh, let me just get the exact uh, terminology for spill. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it, it it's a it charge instant hits. It's just a case of um, okay. It's just you have to do. It's essentially just a save. You have to do a strength save, and if you fail, you take damage uh, and okay. move backwards. Sadly, you do not save, and it knocks you prone back ten feet, and you take six damage. Okay. Ooh, yay. Uh, Coder, were you beside Rizbit? Actually, it's... Yeah, roll initiative, please. Do you want those of us who are staying behind to roll initiative as well? Uh, oh, wow, nice. As my, um, for the time being, I'm going to say no. Oh, okay, you doke. Oh, we'll be fine. Good luck, guys. This is how Thank we you. All right, so essentially it's Esme, uh, Tom's go, then Ick, then Coda, then Risby. Oh, Darren, the boar, then Coda, then Risby. Can I can boar see in the dark? Uh, doesn't say. It actually doesn't say if they have any vision, no. Um, so all I'm think all I'm thinking here is we're in the darkness and being a stealthy type, um, I'm pretty certain I can get <laughs> like do I have an advantage on my attack against this this, this helpless war creeper? Sure thing. Sure. Based on not being particularly viewable. Uh, 
Alright guys, there's no Okay, um, I will then try to attack him with my bow. Have at him, old boy. I, I do believe you miss. Just barely. Wait. Shit. Did I have advantage? Uh, what did you roll? I didn't see any rolls by you. What? I rolled... What? I rolled um, a d20 plus 5 to hit. And then did I... Oh, no, you didn't hit, no. Okay. But did I have advantage on attacking from, like... Being in the darkness, or did I make this one? And no, because it's right up in front of you. Even though it doesn't have vi- like dark vision, it's like user right beside Elizabeth. So, yeah. ergo, it's kind of like alert to your presence. Navi, where right? Someone else can go. Oh, it's uh, d- 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 it is. Oh, yeah, it's Tom's go. He's gonna shoot. Come on, Tom. He just hit. Oh my bitch. He does damage. I forgot, we can't be racist, we're not playing Cthulhu. Or guild. Dick is um, scared of what is before him and um, trembles and doesn't do much. The boar, on the other hand, is going to swing at Risbit again. Woo! Bye, bitch. <laughs> 24, old boy. Yep. Oh, God. I hey, take it. four damage. Sweet. Please don't die. Don't worry, I'm not near death. This ain't Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is now. Is Coda. How close am I to it? Like, I'm right behind Rizbert, so I'm right up next to it. Yep. I guess I'm just gonna use my rapier then, because I do not want to pull my gun out in such close quarters, so I'm just gonna my rapier. That's fair, that's fair. Although, if you did use your gun, we'd definitely hear it and then probably be running to help. Don't give him ideas. Do you want it? Hey, yeah, you hit. Holy oh. shit, nice dude. Good job, Coda. You get it, Coda. Coda you, you, you stab it in the forehead and it lets out a shriek of pain. When you pull your rapier back out, blood starts squirting out like crazy. It is not happy. Um, I believe it is Rizbit's go. It is indeed. Go, Rizbit. Uh, okay. Kill yet another animal. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, what what I think this was my... I think this was oh, this my oh that was damage sorry that's to hit twenty two uh, yes and yes you kill it <laughs> oh okay fair enough yeah yeah, yeah. Really? I was gonna say yeah like <laughs> you bring your sword down and cleave it its head clean off it's a it's a giant boar too so you could totally like you know use that as a fucking helmet or something oh. Dark Souls Ooh. style <laughs> how long would it take me to drag it back to the cart from here. Uh, from here, not very long. It'll probably take you about maybe ten minutes in total, like because it's you know. Could I gen- do that? Yeah, while they yeah explore course. the rest of this place. Sure, sure, sure. Cool. Where everyone else watches in silence. Or or drag past them. <laughs> there are many <laughs> boars, but this one is mine. <laughs> can I check out its lair, Dan or anything? Can I have a you look in, in there? Do I roll investigate or just walk in? Yeah, yeah, no. If you got to investigate it, babe. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, there. It's more just scraps of like people and random animals together. You find five G worth of like loot, essentially, like just coins and a few gems and stuff. But it comes to a total of about five G. Can we no um, ancient elven weapons or anything like that. I want to ask the, the gnomes if they recognize any of the the clothing or bits of, you know, I'm saying it's not full corpses, but like any clothing scraps or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. Uh, they kind of look over everything and it's like, no, 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 no. This is this is an ours and these corpses look far, far too old. Fortunately, everything in here is rather boring. 
Get out. <laughs> Attention gains inspiration. No, <laughs> yes. don't encourage him. I will always encourage puns. Although it's kind of unfair to give Andrew inspiration for a pun because he's pretty fucking good at it. This one time. So, this um, yeah. one time? Stop. As, as you are doing that, basically, Rizbit goes back and, like, uh, Harry sees, like, you just emerge from the cave with a boarhead and it's like, everything okay? Oh, yeah. Got He's me. Like, no, uh, no, no more animal pelts on the cart. <laughs> you want to put that with the bear? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that with the bear. He's like, okay. <laughs> He's a <Thanks>. monster. <clears throat> Kind of look, just looks at you as you just like you know happily like la, 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 waddle back in, and he's just like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that goblin? <laughs> Why is he being weird?" <laughs> All right, so you're just back here at the passy pass. Um, the gnome's gesture is like, "Shall we proceed forward?" So, we still do. Do the stealthy people yeah. want to go ahead again? We still doing yeah. the sneaky sneak. I think we should, just in case. All right. Essentially, with the sneaky sneaks taking up the front, uh, that's a fair man. That's a solid philosophy to live by, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, as you guys uh, approach, you notice that like the darkness kind of just cuts off at one point, by a very thin strip. And when uh, essentially the others catch up, because you haven't alerted them to any danger or anything, the torch reveals that there is a chasm below in front of you with a very Long but sh- mm, crappy plank of wood that's been draped across it. Can we see the other side? Uh, you can. You can just make out the edge. Yeah. Is there anything over there that might help reinforce this plank? Not from what, from what you can tell, no. Okay. Can you fly? I'll fly over and have a better look. And from what you can see, um, there's very little. It's just a, like it's a plank of like construction wood that someone clearly brought into the cave with them, and has just been like this will make us like it's basically it's small enough that it's you can bring it with you, but it's definitely like thick enough that like a gnome or a small creature wouldn't necessarily break it and standing on it. So, right. This was left by your man, I take it. I say to Tom and Richard. He's like, yeah, this seems like something they do, all right. Why don't we toss people over? Uh, the two, uh, like Tom's like, well, I, I'll go first and test it. You know? He kind of like slowly walks out and he's like, it creaks, it creaks. You swear you hear a crack, but by the time he, when he's in the se- dead center of it, he's kind of like, huh. nothing happens. And he gets across fine and he gestures to uh, Dick to follow him over and Dick scurries across it. And yeah, the two of them get across perfectly fine. They're now standing beside Tenchu. They uh, suggest, well, why don't you throw a rope and we'll like hold on to it. So if you fall, hopefully we can save you. Can't you just, just lift us over? Um, yeah, uh, he could. It just requires a strength roll for everyone he wants to carry on. And those strength rolls are going to be very bad. Also, yeah, if you're wearing have... heavy armor, I won't be able to lift you. In yeah. fact, I think medium armor or above, I won't be able to lift you. Because you, you don't have that high strength, don't you, Tenchu? I have eight strengths, Darren. Oh, okay. I thought Ooh. it was like, you know, 11 or something. But yeah, he's a scrawny motherfucker. But yeah, uh, like... Strength by dump stat. That's fair. Well, Rizbit and... Nan would probably be the only two issues then. But yeah, everyone but... else, technically, it would just be a strength roll. So, fingers crossed, I guess. Would it be... Possible for t- like if I took off my heavy armor for Tenchu to carry my heavy armor over? Yeah, that's, surely, yeah. You, surely would you you'd be small enough to cross, wouldn't you? Without the heavy armor? Yeah, if you took the heavy armor off and gave the Tenchu to just carry over without the added weight of yourself, you could walk across. Yeah, yeah, so you're I, a small goblin. I like sort of usher Tenchu over and I start taking off my armor. Um, whatever you're proposing. I think we should probably deal with the cave situation first. Hey, look, I know you're in love with your ham. Just carry my fucking armor across. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, and I start, I start crossing the bridge. Okay. I think Tenchu's in love with the ham. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, um, given that, like, plate's heavy, but it's not 
as heavy as a human or a, a living creature, you get it across fine. Okay. And do I get it across okay? You get it across fine. Perfect, I start putting back on my armor. Cool, so what y'all others doing? I'm waiting. I'll just let everyone else cross first. I wait because I'm terrified of the prospect of being carried by a giant bird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has I to did. go. Is the door go? Who me? Okay. I try to walk across the plank. <laughs> it creaks and begins to snap. Can I do a jack check to try and get yes, out of it? Yes, you can. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Someone has to get to me if this goes bad. Can I try and make a dex check to try and help her? Uh, it's all right. Okay. Um, Isadora just like <laughs> does a leap backwards and the plank shat like not shatters but breaks enough so it slides and falls down. Isadora uh, lands back safely on the side she began on. Um, the plank falls for ages and then you hear like a distant like whack. Oops! Oh, fiddlesticks. Uh, how many seconds did it take until the whack started? Uh, about five or six. Okay. So that pit is 30 meters deep then. Darren. Whoa. I missed his step over to the other side. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to have to do it, but now I've done it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you can oh you can do it because you're a ladder, can't you? Yeah. Ah yeah. As you miss the step and my hand comes out of and slaps you. Nah. Why? You you what? get over there fine. Can I mage hand her in the I don't have mage hand number one. <laughs> you mage hand me back across. I can mage yeah. back hand. We're going down your own time with us. So uh I, I flap back over and I ask, who's next? I put my hand up. Do we have here, bird boy? Come here to me before you fly off. Come on. Okay. Next. Just hold on, Izzy. Okay. Um, you're like, you, you have the ability to fly. Yeah. You have the ability to fly and hammer at the same time. Yes. Are you sure? Because oh, you... <laughs> we can make a rope bridge. I don't know how to make a rope bridge, but I was suggesting if we like. Get put a python, like if we basically tie a bit of, like if we put a python in the roof and then put rope around it, we can just swing oh, yeah. it. Yeah, uh, that's true. Can... One of them would definitely be in a uh, dungeoneering or exploring. I have a dungeoneering. Specialist. Yeah, and what, like, I'm fairly sure, I'm certain one of you has at least one of those. I definitely do, yeah. Yeah, so like, to, to do what Neil's proposing, you would have the required um, things, Sweet. items. Can we make a Here, swing? Here, swing man, get it done. Okay. Oh, it's so if Tenchu's putting that thing into the ceiling, he has to hammer it in, so he's doing the strength checks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, but we'll no. we'll know if it's not working, so no one has to yeah. risk their safety. That's, we'll know when the first person plummets to their death, so it's not working. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so it's a strength check to hammer it in? Yeah. That's an eight. Oh, you, oh, inspiration. Yes, you may use Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hammered in, you're like, dum, dum, dum. And you're like, hey guys, a clink! <laughs> it's like, it worked! We just need to use more pittance. <laughs> uh, the, teeth, just... the tiefling steps forward and she's like, you, Birdman, carry me. Um, but the, the, the pitton plan. Also, I call dibs. The pitton fell out. We have do we I have, have a lot more. more. We do have, yes, you can. We have like again. 10 of them, don't we? Yeah. I have 10 of them. I had 10 to another Python. Python? How do you say it? Here. No. no. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you say it because he rolled a five. If only we had a bard oh to give inspiration on this roll. This bit. Strip yes. off and then do it again. Like, strip off, let him carry you, and then you can, like, hammer because you seem to have some. Right. Okay. I take but back like off carrying there. is a strength check in of itself, and if I fail True. that, then he dies. True. No, he uh -huh. only takes like 
It's falling three, 30 meters. It's like 3 d it's 3d6 fall damage. No, the th it, that's per 10 feet, not 10 meters. That would be oh, 90 feet. So 96. 96. I'll yeah. be fine. I'd say it's bigger take it, to be fair like. Like who knows? Maybe he'll roll nine once. <laughs> would he? Would, would he get any sort of advantage on the strength to carry Rizbit, considering how small Rizbit is no. without his armor? If Rizbit no. was a, if Rizbit was a tiny creature, then yes. Yeah, he's not. He's just a small uh, okay. creature. Um, I want to try the pit on again. Does that yeah, yeah, of course. Eventually, eventually, I'll be able to to do this. I give him another pit. Alright, this is pit number three. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Like, <laughs> Darren. <laughs> Darren. Darren. The, the dwarf, the dwarf <laughs> uh, chuckles. Darren. Yes. How yes. wide is this chasm? Uh, uh, about 30 feet. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay. I can't jump that. Um, here's a question. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not that well versed in magic, but I'm, I'm well versed to know that, um, clericy types, at the very least, have, um, have the ability to mend small breaks. Do do any of our um our potential magic users do we have magic users? Uh, do, do, are are any of you capable of like mending small things? Nope. I break big things. Thank you, Rizbit. <laughs> what are we trying to fix from the kittens? Um Yeah, we we would have the bird fly down, pick up the plank, and then repair it. Alright, let's do it. You have the spell necessary. I do. Cool. Bird, go and collect the pittens that you dropped, and then collect the <laughs> the planks. Okay, I do that. I wasted a misty step. <laughs> and I wasted my chance to be carried. We all have to take our losses. So it should take me about 18 seconds to get to the bottom and back at max fly speed. Um, yeah, that's fine. So about... 36 seconds later, I'll be back up with the plank and the pittance. That's oddly specific. Where are you gonna get a giant boulder from? I'm an Aladrin. We have ways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Like, are you telling me Corwin couldn't have just found a giant boulder? I feel like he could. That's Corwin, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. He has blaze. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking tiny otter just comes along rolling a gigantic boulder with a big smile on its face. Yeah. Here, you. Tambourine man. Fix it. <laughs> Tambourine man. Um, so I line up the two halves, I press my house some, and I cast Mending. The um, wood strengthens and looks stronger than ever. So it looks like it's in a better condition than we found it? Uh, yes, it seems like it was like, you know, right off the middle kind of wood now. There you go. You're gonna have to relay this, can't you? Um, before we press on, uh, when I got to the bottom of the pit, I saw an apparition. Oh, for God's sake. Ew. You have the cave crazies already. We've only been here for like five minutes. <laughs> um, I basically saw a ghostly figure of someone lying on the floor coughing, and then it disappeared. There's no such thing as ghosts. What, what did it look like? Was it a gnome? Uh, I don't know, Darren. Was it a gnome? Uh, it would have been more a uh, human. Human okay. male. But like coughing as in like <coughs> like he had just fallen to his doom. Oh my god. Is this like the cave from Until Dawn? Oh no. Is there a fucking wind to go down here? Because I am so into that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that Yeah. That will end well. Um Someone... you... <laughs> That's a thank you for telling us about the ghost. Um I'm going to give you some helpful advice. Lift some damn weights. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's lots of things that you're not good at, Esme. So. You mean I'm an Aladrin? Not, not, not a lot, like. 
You're about to be I just modest. fly away from the conversation. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie Tension. to you, Isadora. I am the most honest. I, I'm the most humble person. So how dare you? <laughs> so before you is a repaired plank of wood. It looks sturdy. Be careful what you do. There's a human that fell in there, and his ghost haunts this chasm. I'll go first. Uh, you're doing what now? I'm going first. Acrobatics, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> you forgot to put the plank down, didn't you? You just started walking. Whee! He just takes out one of the Bugs Bunny signs. <laughs> 21. Yeah, you make it across fine. You keep your balance. You don't put weight where you shouldn't, and you get across okay. Like a true elf. He's beauty, he's grace, please kick him in the face. <laughs> <It's Renan. laughs> Jazz ass. This is Renan. Who's that? We love him. He's orange. <laughs> he's a proper right, there's, still a there's, there's still a coda and a Isadora and a dwarf and a tiefling to get across. I'll go. Hurry, hurry. So, acrobatics. Uh -huh. Pardon? Yes. Okay. Please be good. Oh, okay. Seventeen? Yes. <laughs> Raji, I'm Koda. How, how oh. heavy do the tiefling and the dwarf look? Uh, the tiefling is wearing kind of, um, it looks like leather armor, but just one chunk of metal near her, like, chest. So, like, it looks like half plate, and the dwarf is sadly in full plate, and looks really confused, so he's, like, not confused, but he's, like, deep in thought. Code is so not happy. He's gonna, he's gonna try it anyway. Hurry, rock friend! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Uh. Coda proceeds to die. Oh, oh god. god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! god! Oh, sake! Can I do a dex check to try and grab Coda before he falls? You <laughs> may. I have to put him out of his misery. <laughs> For not you. Essentially, like. Coda's like, you got this, you got and he starts to like fall over to the left and Tenshi just swoops by, like around, hooks him and just like basically jimmy jimmies him and throws him all at once to the other side and he lands face down in the dirt. Did I die? <laughs> Is this Oh yes, yeah, here. Oh, oh. Well that was it. Well that went better than most things. I think that went rather well. Uh, the tiefling has a similar situation. She gets halfway through it and her foot slips and she hits the board and she starts to topple over. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's wrong I... with Can I try and save her too? Sure thing. <laughs> you magically save her too. <laughs> there are some things I'm good at. <laughs> uh, she stands up from like safely being on the other side and puts her hand on her your shoulder and she's like, Thank you very much. Uh, essentially, when you guys look back over, the dwarf is now completely naked. And uh, he's holding his armor and he's like, Tenchu Birdman, would you do the honors? Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, you take his armor and uh, he crosses five. Uh, when he gets across, he rearmors, and he's like, "Oh, shall we continue?" So that was that was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for fuck's sake. Um, Darren, just a quick question: How yep. tall is like how far away from like the roof is the board? Um. Like, 
Like basically how far from ground level that you are standing on to the roof is it? Yeah. Um, when you first entered, it would have been pretty high. It would have been like 15 feet or so, but it's starting to get a bit lower. It's like it's essentially getting to about head height, so just 10 feet, say, to be even. And um, Okay, so was it about 10 feet when we were like crossing the board, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's starting to just slope a bit. So would we be capable at all of like... Hmm, we run the risk of dying horribly. But also, ever getting out of here seems like it's only... Okay, fine. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Before we go anywhere, Isadora takes out her tambourine and she plays a short aria. Um, it makes you feel tense. You cannot be surprised. And you now all have advantage on saving throws against traps. Ooh, that's awesome. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lady Turner. No problem. Thanks, tambourine guy. As you progress forward, you notice that essentially it gets thinner and thinner to there's a point there's a drop off, but like there's a small it looks like it's been hand chiseled out at some point, like fucking years ago most likely. Um but it's essentially a walkway where you have to hug the wall and shimmy. Oh yes. We're all going to die, aren't we? Why do you do this? Well, you see, that's the thing. I was like, how can I make this like interesting without just constantly throwing fucking monsters at them? And I was like, oh yeah, think back to that time I went spelunking in France and all the times we could have fallen to our death, so let's do that. Skill checks. <laughs> <laughs> I do love almost falling to my death. Alright, let's fucking go. Tension is ass. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys, we could just make him out. No one would ever know. Come and shimmy me with the plebs. Uh, Tenju arrives at the other side. Hooey! I'm trying to debate, is this athletics or ac acrobatics? Like, shimmy? Acrobatics to keep your balance, I think. Yeah, I was thinking it's more acrobatics as well, but I just said I'd put it out there just to be certain, but... Yeah, um, I we have athletics too. No. <laughs> <laughs> athletics to try and wall run across. Oh my god, can we athletics into parkour? <laughs> uh, yeah, so who's up first? Can I persuade my way around it? I'll go first if I can parkour with athletics. <laughs> it's too big of a gap, so you may not. God damn it, Darren, you're such a fucking killjoy. <laughs> Don't you ever call me such a thing again. I'll go How first. dare you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a dirty word. I know it's a Brian dirty word. Parts. So it. Right, acrobatics, yeah? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, we're not in Redcastle, go down. Ah, uh, sure, that's. Ah, uh, who's the killjoy now? Who's fucking dead? Who's killed her? It's still you. <laughs> Can I make a dick strike turn him? Yep. Like, dick saving throw or just dick strike? Uh, dick saving throw. <laughs> no, fucked up. Oh Essentially, God. as you lose your footing and fall forward, both Coda and the um, other tiefling leap forward to grab you. Uh, Coda misses, uh, but Sybil grabs you and <laughs> yanks you back. She kind of like dusts you off and she's like, Will I go first? Hold on. I have an idea. Nope. We all tie ropes around each other. So that way, if one of us falls, we can all like die together. Five, six people there to hold them back. That's, yeah, that's not how this kind of thing works. Is that not exactly how that works. I thought that was how that worked. No, hmm. if if one person falls, we all fall. GPK, GPK, GPK. Darren, old boy. Hey, yeah, I'm good there. Would it be possible for Tenchu to sort of flap sideways? As people shimmy across with his hands stretched out in front of him to like push them back onto the wall if they slip. I'm gonna say yes because it's a hilarious image in my head. So it would grant if they do fall, it basically grants them advantage on the rolls on acrobatics. Cool. Because okay. you're kind of like sent every so often when they're like, whoa, you just stick a smelly bird foot in their face. It's like wonderful, wonderful. If they roll a one, though, I'm going to say you kind of kick them in the face too hard because you're a monk. 
<laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys now are granted advantage when using acrobatics checks for okay. this specific thing. I want to go okay. again then. All right. Oh, that's enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid of death anymore. Renan Redcastle is filled with determination, having brushed off death. I and manages to slowly but surely shimmy across. Um, Sybil, the tiefling, steps up and is like, I would like to go now. Uh, she makes it across fine as well. I'm going to try. <laughs> Hiya. I did it! Hey! Yay. Keep your filthy claws away from me, bird. Wow. Uh, okay, here we go. You did it! Hey. Go. I'm gonna try. Please don't die, Riz, but I love you. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, either way you do it. Shit. He super did it! I love him. <laughs> Who's putting 20s on the board? Shh, let me have my moment. We need four uh, both gnomes. Barely but surely, they lose their foot in a fair few times, but thankfully um, Tenchu is there to keep them sturdy, and they adequately thank him when they get to the side. Is there anything to be said for, like, not having this happen? <laughs> it's, it's oh, okay. I, I forgot to add advantage, but the dwarf makes it fine. It's, it's going to be like Skyrim, where when we get to the end, there'll be just like a secret passageway back to the boiler. Yeah. I hope so, because if not, one of us is definitely dying on the way out. Like... Um, Definitely. Has everybody crossed? I have not. Come on, go I'm scared. Coda. You're holding it's up the whole show. Coda, will you please take your gun out and point it at the bird? <laughs> Coda, Coda, Coda slowly but surely, again losing his footing a few times, but safely makes it to the side. Coda's got the fucking fear of God in him now. So, y'all on the other side. Okay. Okay. And before you, it's just a long tunnel. Um, do we have a pokey stick to, to, to check for traps? I have a sword. That's a no, you stick. need that for hitting things. I have the pokey stick. Can, let's, let us pokey stick our way through here, just right. in case. Okay, I'm going to pokey stick my way through the cave. Pokey pokey, so you're just slowly but surely progressing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, just taking our time. Cool. All right. Essentially, um, you set off no traps. Because they're all in the sky. They're coming to get you. You come into a large room. Oh my God. A large opening with a, what looks like a small pond water thing at the bottom. Those of you with dark vision will notice that it's a little bit down, but at the very bottom you can see what looks like a square rectangular-esque shape jutting out of the ground. At the bottom of the pool. Yep. So would anyone like to do anything? Um, I mean, I have a history of getting into ponds that I don't belong in. <laughs> I feel like Esme needs to continue in the line just, of her forefathers. Just make sure there's no bog hag in this one. I loved that. <laughs> <laughs> What do we do with the dwarf? Will they sink? No, that's exactly what will happen. She will drown where my dwarves never drown. DMs away, <laughs> riot. Everybody perform oh, necromancy, oh. hurry. Everybody necromancy, quick. <laughs> the corpses of 10,000 fallen, uh, fallen heroes start dancing. Reanimate the boar and don't tell Darren about Ray. it. Thriller, everybody thriller, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Set the pond on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's drown <laughs> let's drown the guys that brought us. Then Darren has no control. We <laughs> can do whatever we want. Can we just roll a lot of random dice and when he comes back at, like and asks about it, just say nothing? Everybody, let's 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 roll. Please. I got an eight. I'm gonna just go through Oh my god. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Who did this? I love oh, that. Oh, <laughs> I 
I love that none of those on the 100D100 is a crit. Oh what my God. did I just come back to? <laughs> <laughs> Darren, we decided to go, um... We decided to take some time off from adventuring. Karen, um, this is what necromancy looks like. Karen? Yes, Karen. What? <laughs> Karen's my evil alter ego. Karen's he- What? <laughs> no, Karen is not here. Karen- Karen was you all along, right? Also, Darren, we drowned the gnomes. <laughs> and okay. The sheep, but not the dwarf, because they can't drown. Yeah, the dwarf can't drown. Yeah, Darren, I'd like to- I'd like to investigate the, um, the- the box. What's in the box? The box. What's in the box? No, to, you, like, no, you have to swim down if you want to get it. Yeah, man. I'm into it. Yeah. Guys, I might drown. So we'll make sure I don't. Um, no. I, right. When you swim down, you kind of jump down into the water, you know, elegantly. Where is it? When you get down, you notice it's kind of, um, it's a small enough chest. Like, it's, a, well, it's a chest, like. But it's a it's a small level and one that you can pull up with one hand, but it seems like it's kind of like embedded in like the soft ground. So it's gonna require a strength check to pull it out. Yeah, let's go guys. I have minus one. Come on, Esme. Why are we sending all the weeks to do all the strong jobs? I, I, I really hope I get like nineteen or something then. Okay, Esme, be better. Esme. Hey! <laughs> To no one's opinion. to no one's shock at all, Esme is fucking useless. Okay, you, I'd like you, to swim <laughs> up and then swim back down to try again. You'd want to what? Say that again. I want to swim up, get some air. Some air. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's clever. That's clever. Um, can I strip off and follow? Yeah, sure. Darren, can I roll insight to Jimmy it and then and then Jimmy it enough so I can have advantage can on my uh, insight this, to Jimmy. Ah, 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 no. <laughs> well, that's. I'm not gonna lie, Darren. That's homophobic. <laughs> Sorry, God. Next time I see you, I'm fly kicking you in the side of the you fucking got head. Team. It's my lucky number. <laughs> Man, it always works. <laughs> you just barely dislodge it, and it comes up, and you realize, oh, you can pull it up. So you swim back up to the surface with said chest, and yeah, you know, you guys now have a very um, slightly bigger than a shoebox size chest. Let's hope this isn't the remains of a gnome or something. <laughs> uh, no, last time we found the strange abandoned box, we got the smuggler's guild after us. I will remind you. Yeah, but they didn't do anything. It's also about locked it. when you try to open it. I haven't done anything about it yet. Darren, I would like to thieves tool it. Okay. I would like to. Yeah, poke it with your tool. Yeah. It's really sexual and everyone's really uncomfortable. <laughs> yes! Go, Esme. Why plus seven? Because it was... Oh, proficiency with the two skills, no? It's, per, it's proficiency, but I have expertise as well. So oh, okay. Plus four, plus seven. Uh, plus, plus four, plus three. So. Darren, what's in my box? Oh. What's in my, my, my sweaty, wet box? Ew. Oh, I can't find the JPEG of it, because I, like... Sh Snip everything into like cards to send. No, to like you essentially find a scroll and about fifteen gold worth of gems of all shapes and sizes. Pretties. Okay, how many of us are there? Is oh we probably okay. Don't um, tell the, the the lads that we're with. <laughs> Split them up later. Fifteen GP of gems. Um, I this this looks like a magic. Um. Which one of you is uh, the magics? Renan, are you a magic? I am a magic, but I can't identify magic. Uh, Izzy? Izzy, can you... Would you like to read the scroll and see if the scroll is, is, is of use? Um, we'll check that as well. Isadora, why are you in the other room? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm leaving over. Um, would Detect Magic tell me what the scroll is? Uh, or that... It'll tell you what school of magic it belongs to. Yeah. Might be helpful. Cast it as a ritual and we'll just take the time. We can have a bit of a break because we've just been death defying in a lot of acts right now. Can I cast a ritual? Yep. 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 So that, that's not dependent on class? Nope. Oh, okay, you're, Grant. You're a bard, you have ritual casting at first level. Grant? I park my butt on the ground and start casting the ritual. Seeing as we're taking like a small short rest, could I spend a hit die? Sure. 
You got in here. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Go to shoot him. <laughs> I see your water bullets and raise you lead. <laughs> see, I can't remember what they would attack. Sweet. Sweet. Essentially, okay. Like you, the scroll is written in common, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I just <laughs> essentially, um, I don't have the JPEG of it here, so I can't send you the card. But it's an or a scroll of origami armor. When you what? use the scroll, uh, when you use the scroll, um, the scroll uh, folds up and essentially latches onto your body and forms origami plate armor. It functions exactly as plate armor will function, but after taking 30 points of damage, it is destroyed and it falls off you. You can't repair it in any shape, so it's essentially you have 30 temporary hit points and only use them until they're all gone. And then once they, they've hit zero, the armor destroys itself. Like, essentially just falls to pieces. But yeah, that's what that is. That is I thought so I had the fucking cool. card from here. Hold the note to Esme. Do, uh, do you want it or can I have it? Um, I think you should keep it. Worst case scenario, you can figure out how to replicate it because that sounds really cool. Yay! I put it in my back. Coda, can you like... I appreciate why you're not cheerful, but like... <laughs> like, there has to be a way to cheer up, man. I'm cheerful. This is as cheerful as I get. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Can't you tell? No, they really can. That's all right, dear. Once we get out, we'll work on it. Darren. Yes. What is the way forward? The way forward is most likely to your right. To the east. When you hold up um, the torch, you notice that the cave walls, floor, and ceiling are covered in thick cobwebs. Oh, fuck fire! Hell. Who's got fire? I do. Fire! Fire in the hole. I cast firebolt on the webby webs. All right. Um, it ignites like crazy. You see a flash of fire travel back into a cavern. You see several stalagmites. Uh, is it mites that are the ones that are stuck to the ground? Yeah. Mites grow up tight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, you see a, a cluster of them for a second and it ends. The flame ends. And nothing is said or heard of. You might have just attracted a lot of bad news. That's essentially how far you start into the cave. Okay, guys, I'm no ranger, but I'm fairly certain there's going to be a bear down here. Bear? So we just send Rizbit in and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Rizbit slowly going to become like the dogs from Up with Gosh, animals? It's like, squirrel! <laughs> don't think I'm going to be able to carry it out of here, though. We'll help you. Oh shit, no way, I don't we won't. Think the issue was that it was heavy. The issue is the two chasms you'd have to go across. I forgot. Oh, what's I got distracted uh, by the fire. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. Tenshi, if you could carry it for me, you'd be like. An entire bear. bear. You have a bear I'm and a boar, Rizbit. Can't you be happy with what you have? But I want two bears. I'll make you. Like, that one's becoming like a cook and like a blanket for me, and I'll make you one too. Let's, um, pretty box. <laughs> let us, let us, let us continue forth in the hopes that we will find this web bear. Web bear sounds only like were bear. I'm not happy. Darren, what well, secrets do you have? Many, many. Yeah. Essentially, when you guys walk into the center of this room, um, when you get about here... I, I immediately aim a fireball to the ceiling. 
that's a solid attack. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to this thing. Oh no. No no no, 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 oh, no. Essentially, no, 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 no. <laughs> essentially, guys, this is like we're gonna be playing it a bit like Final Fantasy VIII. You move on the map and have positions on the map, but for fights, we're gonna use this thing. Okay. <laughs> do we have our tokens this week? We do. I'm gonna have to spend like a minute putting them down. But Yay! Quick, everybody hide. But yeah, some those spiders sp and some swarms. Spiders are so <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is it Nicki Minaj? Is she back? No, it's not Nicki Minaj. God, we can't fight Nicki Minaj right now. Swarm. Maybe explain that reference for the stream. Oh god. <laughs> and for me! Okay. We bought a drider with a big fat butt. And um, we refer to it as Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> so now all riders are called Nicki Minaj. That's fair. It's a cultural thing for the uh, for the the Drow community. They're they're really into it. Though so that's probably really racist. Oh God. Um. No, I think it's. Okay. Can't tell, but I'm nodding. Somebody edit out my racism. No. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. That doesn't mean we can't edit. <laughs> We, this will go up on YouTube. We can edit it then. <laughs> Coda, you're editing. Fix this. <laughs> I'll airbrush the racism in it, don't worry. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. Just put, like, dulk noises over it all. Oh my god. <laughs> can we just do that for one episode? <laughs> just just dulk noises over everything. I'm so behind on my notes for this session. Oh my god, hang on. I've barely been taking notes. I've just been too into this. Um... My notes have slowly become a lot less detailed, but a lot more kind of like concise and funny in their own right. Dave's on the big fucker. Absolutely fight me, Rizbeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rizbit is not You'll both have to get there before I do. Here, listen, lads, I'm in the front. Alright, cool, so everyone's there. No, I'm not. Oh, we're not. it's Renata. Lads, these swarms are gonna kill us. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, we have magic this time. Darren, are these sparkly? Are they, are these are they, spiders? Are they sexy spiders? Sexy sequin spiders. Now I was debating putting in phase spiders, but then I realized that's probably a bit too OP at the minute. <laughs> Just a bit. I'm moving myself to the front, because that's where I am. Yeah, the big spider to drop down has a bit of singed hair on his chin. He's looking at you. He's willing to fight you. Take that Does anyone have a hammer? Um, I do. Coda should, yeah. Like, someone had a hammer before. Paul, I'm Hamaz a Hamazite. Alright, so everyone roll motherfucking thingy. <laughs> roll motherfucking thingy. Yeah. Yeah, Coda hasn't gotten a good roll, like, ever. Ever. That's like, that's like <laughs> the highest initiative I've ever rolled. Renan, why are you upside down? Because. He likes to be contrary. Yes. I mean, <laughs> that's not, like, yeah, that's fair. I think the only 20 I've gotten in this entire campaign was on a history check once to see where a house was. <laughs> I bring so much to the team, guys. <laughs> exactly. Most so people that we wouldn't be here. We're back shooting. Mostly friendly fire. Mostly friendly fire and just general trouble. I mean, hey. don't forget, you're the reason that, like, most of the bad shit that's gone down back home has gone down. I will not argue with that. At all. <laughs> Wait, is no, that no, 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 Because I know I got arrested, but, like, it was kind of Coda's fault that I got arrested. <laughs> 
I just, I'll find you in real life. I will. <laughs> I'd, well, I'd pay to see that. Right, so it's Giant Spider first. Are you well, Renan? Yeah. Because you're looking you well. Be. I should also say that everything here is um, difficult terrain because it's covered in webs. Oh, you yeah. bitch. Yeah, boy! Yeah, uh, no, Daz. I don't hit. No. Oh. You in full plate? No, I'm in chainmail with a shield. Ah. Right, the spider isn't happy, but sure, he'll get over it. Isadora? Um. Easy, bring the swarm. Pardon? Burn the swarm! Or burn the webs. Oh my god, burn we're in the webs. Burn the witch! Oh, that's true, we are in the webs. Burn the webs! No, don't burn the webs! Um, this is why people shouldn't listen to No fire spells. Elizabeth. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers on this yoke. Okay, now what does that do now, bye? Um, You fill the air with spinning daggers and it flies on each side. Um. And I'm going to center it here, just to eliminate the risk of it hitting anyone in the party. And the creature takes 44 slashing damage when it enters the spell area, and then when it starts its turn there. And if I concentrate on it, I can move it. Alright, cool. So it doesn't take, um, it doesn't make a save or anything? No, no take... there's no uh, save okay. for it. Cool, cool. Alright, sure. Roll damage then. Uh, cool. There you go. Whoa. You basically, you spell summon up a fucking flurry of daggers and it just dices this swarm to pieces. A cackle. <laughs> it is a witch! I love Isadora so much. I can't actually put into words how much I love Isadora. <laughs> Jerk. Well, that started off well. <laughs> um, Renan. Hi. Um, I'm going to drop my shield. And I am going to two-hand my Yorm the Giant's axe into this spider. Alrighty then. Oh, that is a seven. If spiders could cackle, that's what it's doing. Oh, Darren, I'm gonna action surge. Okay. <laughs> that is a 16. You do hit, yes. Okay, I'm gonna saw my way through it for seven points of damage. Nice one. Ew. Uh, your goal. Me? Yes. Cool. Um, I want to move up to the giant spider. Yep. And I'm going to try and hit him with my sword. Six to You hit. Ten damage. Dudes, absolutely. F oh my god, I made this way too easy. In this. Holy shit. I was like, man, if it's one giant spider, it'll be really me. <laughs> Rocks fall, everyone dies. Uh, yeah, this thing looks pissed. You forgot. Um, sw huh? What? You forgot that one of the tanks just like rips through animals, and the other tank can cast magic. Yeah, essentially, this spider swarm is gonna come at you though. Ah, fuck off, lads. Which is. Yep. So it's gonna beat you. No. <laughs> oh no no no! Oh Jesus Christ, Darren. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Uh, can you make a con saving throw? <laughs> oh, my God. No, please, please. He's going to turn into a spider. Yay! Spider Nan. But, spider but like Nan. Spider. <laughs> <laughs> Does whatever a spider can. <laughs> okay, so, ba basically, hold, hold the telephone. <laughs> Sorry, Dora. <laughs> you take... Amazing. You take four piercing damage. Okay, I can. Handle okay, that. and you take, and Where's you take my... five poison damage. Okay, Where's and you are now poisoned. Yay! That's why he's upside down. <laughs> no, I'm upside down because I'm a spider. You you get you get a little snail icon to show that you're poisoned. Yay! Okay, now it is on to Tenchu. Alrighty. I'm uh, going to go up and attack the swarm then. Uh, I'm happy. So first attack, 12 versus AC. E oh, hold on. Uh, no. 
Okay, uh, then I am going to spend a key point to Flurry of Blows and attack twice more. Oh, nice, nice. 17 and an 18. Yes, both hit. Okay, uh, I am going to uh, impose that it can't use its reactions until my next turn. And okay. the damage is 12 in total. It is squishy gated. Okay. You essentially punch the swarm into mulch. Uh, I'd like to use the rest of my move action to move up to the giant spider then. Alrighty. Is the swarm dead? The swarm is dead. Huzzah! I think both of the swarms dead. Yeah. yeah. Those are very easy to defeat swarms. Wow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's another spider. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn! Of course, there's another spider. Guys, you should have just shut up about how easy the fight was. Come on. I you did that in on purpose. Good. I'm glad. If you want Fine. to see my notes, the spider was a legit thing. I just wasn't sure if I was going to use it or not. <laughs> but yeah, after you kill the swarms, and if you could hear spider screams, you're like. Aah! Like, essentially, it's not even, like, you know, like, creepily, like, comes down a web, just a colossal spider goes, <laughs> lands in front of you. And, uh, he is gonna shoot web at Rizbit, because Rizbit's technically... I was gonna say he's in his Ryan's side, but it's probably more Renan, but still. So, he's gonna shoot at you, buddy. Okay, do I need to roll anything? Uh, no, it's a range attack on his. Um, 15? No. All right, and um, he throws web at you, and you manage to dodge. Uh, okay, so it is now Esme's go. Cute. Um, Darren, do I have enough like movement to get myself uh, like a clear line of sight on this this giant spy deer? Yeah, I'd say if you went up, maybe top yeah. or bottom, basically either where the swarm used to be or where Rizbit is, you'll see it perfectly fine, like within firing range. So do I have, like, there, here? That be... Yes. Cool. Um, Darren, I am going to use my, um, my insight oh, yes, you, yes. to start. Do I, do I roll against that? I can't yeah, remember. so it's... I make a, an insight check against your... De against the deception check. Do I roll wisdom, isn't it? You, no, I roll wisdom. You roll charisma. Oh, that's even better. Do I have insight? I do have insight there, that's handy. Okay. I got eight. Hold on. What do I need to do? What do I need on the... Oh, I need like... A... I, need, I didn't like... anticipate my victory. I need six on the dice. Yes! That's me. For you. Um, I will fire my short bow at this creature. And okay. now for the next minute, I have, I can, I basically get sneak attack damage off on him until further notice. Uh-huh. No. Ah, oh, here's me. You miss. Fucking weak ass. Next, someone, someone else fight the giant spider. Uh, it is actually giant spider wands go, and he's going to stab at Renan yet again. Oh. Renan, no. Reno. <laughs> So. Coda uh, misses. Oh. Yeah, that misses. Oh, Coda hasn't gone. I haven't written Coda in. Oh my god, I apologize. Let's reverse that. Yeah, it missed. I got a terrible initiative. I'm probably last anyway. Yeah, yeah okay. Sorry, I must have. Uh, yeah, Coda, sorry. Can I move up to the space? If I move to the space where the dead swarm beside Renan was, would I be able to shoot the giant one? Yes, I'm just going to remove the token just okay, so yeah. it doesn't yeah, get in your way. So I'm going to shoot at the big one with my gun. I'll crit fail! Crit fail! Your gun! Your gun jams! My gun misfires. Your gun misfires, gun misfires. You... yes. So next round you have to make sure it works or you can potentially break your gun! Oh my god! The stakes are high. Now, um, oh yeah, giant spiders go, he misses. So it's Isidore. Easy. Um, 
I'm going to keep concentrating on the cloud and move it over to this yoke. Ah, OK. So, uh, roll so I think in. it's taking up most of those actual squares at the area it's in. Uh, yeah. 13. Ooh, nice, nice. And I'm, I'm just going to keep sustaining that. Uh, it is da, 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 Renan's go. Um, I'm gonna two hand my machete into this spider's face again. Please, does. Yeah. 21. 21 hits. 11 damage. Noise. It is dead. But your round, your turn is not over. May you do a con save check, please? Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna wretch anyway because I hate killing things, but. That's a 22 there, it does. You are fine. The poison seems to have stopped hurty. Yay. No it stopped more, all of the hurty. No more hurty hurt. Oh, no more spider nan. Uh, spider nan is dead. <laughs> at Risby. Cool. I'm going to move up to the giant spider. Okie dokie. Um, make it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Would you make difficult it with terrain. your Hold difficult on. terrain? I'm moving again. 25. Also, be careful because if you step in the cloud, mm. you'll take damage. Where is the cloud? Okay. Um, I put it can, like the center of it's here, and it's five squares. Cool. Move to like here. All right. And I'm gonna cast Bane. Ooh, what does that do? I can't quite uh, remember. What. Tell you in two seconds. Just that's cool, man. Yeah, no um, problem. So he must make a Christmas saving throw. Uh, I just had a Christmas saving throw. Christmas. Merry Christmas. 14. Okay. You saved. Damn Woo! it. He saved. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a case that whenever you roll to attack somebody or do damage, uh, sorry, attack roll or saving throw, uh, you got to roll a d4 and subtract that, but you saved. Okay. Cool, cool. It is. Oh, is that all? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All. I attend you. It is your go. Okay, uh, is 30, how far is it to this thing? Uh, how many squares? One, one, two, three, four, five. It's five squares currently from your position. So 25 feet. Okay, yep, I can make that. Uh, so I'm going to move to here, and I'm going to make an attack. 24 versus AC. It's so he takes six damage, and I'm going to spend another key point to flurry of blows again for two right. more attacks. 13 and a crit. Uh, the crit hits 13, doesn't it? Okay. Further 11 damage. Uh, 11 damage, nice. So, total of 17, I believe. And that's me. Alrighty, uh, this thing is looking pished. Uh, this thing, actually, it's just going to attack you, because you're there. That doesn't matter about you. That's fair. There are species uh, of spiders that eat birds, right? Yeah, there are. 21? Yeah, that hits. Alright, can you make a con saving throw? You take 7 piercing damage, by the way. Okay. Got a 4 on the con right, saving cool. throw. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, you take uh, 7 poison damage, and you are now poisoned. Ah! Nice! Spider bird. Spider bird. Kill it. Uh, Esme. <laughs> okay, I am going to try and attack again. Esme. Please. Don't, don't. Please do. Please do well. 20. Yep. Yes. Okay, so now it is... Um, Shortbow sneak damage. Did I fix 
Hold on, I might have to add a, a dice to this macro if it's not done correctly. Nope, that is all of my dice. Fifty. Hey, you slapped that motherfucker right between the eyes. The many, many eyes he has, actually. Is it dead? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Yay! Good jerk. Take its legs! It reels and cr thrashes about, but ultimately does the whole like spider curl up thing. I am. Um... <laughs> While the um, cloud of daggers just, uh, <laughs> just like flips you know, onto it. Shreds it to pieces eventually. I kind of like. She like reefs her feet out of the out of the webbing to try and get herself closer to like put her head or like her boot on the head of the spider as though she's like she's the only one who did anything because she's a giant. <laughs> Uh, when you guys look behind you, you'll, you notice that uh, another giant spider had landed, but the others had taken care of it. There are several crossbow bolts. Um, Sybil has one of her short swords out, and Malik um, has uh, his warhammer out, or his greatsword. He has a greatsword, not a warhammer. Um, and the giant spider lies dead in front of him. And they kind of nod at you as if, like, they were like, are you okay? Where'd it go, team? Oh, my gun's jammed. Yeah, you're gonna have to do that roll. Can I um like I know it says you roll in combat to to unjam it or risk breaking it, but since we're out of combat now, could I take a little more time and and just just take time, or, like take more time to look at it and take my time with it, or do I have to just roll once like uh, advantage? It, 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 you can you can do it over the course of a short rest. We can take a short rest and you can take twenty. Yeah, so you you'd get um advantage. Advantage. Um, Rizbit, I would like some health back. I can give 15 through lay in hands, and then I also have, um, cure wounds. Okay, give everything you have to Tenshu, because I, I'll be fine. I can, yep. heal, I can heal myself. So yeah, Tenshu, oh, you get 14 health rest. back. We're taking short rest anyway, aren't we? Oh. So I can do my own. Oh yeah, so. that's true. Just so yeah, I could save that if you want to do Does Isadora it. have her um, Song of Rest yet? I think so. Oh, yeah, I can use that if we need to. Yeah, add some extra health then. Yeah. Um, Darren, for my role, I need to get... Uh, so it's the DCA plus the Misfire score, which is one side. only beat nine, and I think my Tinker Stills. Alright. If you But if you take 20, you get an automatic 20 on the roll. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's okay, cool. The, that's the point of taking 20. <laughs> I see. Okay, can I do that then? Because, <laughs> yeah. oh my god, if that thing broke, I'd be useless. Uh, sorry guys, you only get like one hit point from the rest. I thought that was, I thought that was, um, Coda for a second. I was like, oh, Coda. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kind of thing I'd expect from Coda. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's rolled over a 10 this whole session. Not a proper roll, I've got to put a D in it. <laughs> you just rolled a 2D. <laughs> Hey, I've recovered 12 HP until I need to hit die. Cool. Wait, no, why was it 2d plus 3 equals 2? What? I don't know. Dave forgot to put the 8 in it. But, yeah, but what, what, does, what is 2d that it comes it out as a minus, minus one. 1? Yeah, that's oh. weird. I'm scared. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. Someone tried to divide by the Okay. So, is everyone healed up? I didn't take any damage. I didn't take any damage either. Yeah, me. And I killed a big spider, so what are you guys doing? Chilling. Someone push her down into, like, a chasm, please. <laughs> um, the gnomes, when you guys are finished resting, light up torches and basically set this entire room on fire. Fads. Guys. Like that's, well, that's where they live. That's their house. We murdered them. So please do not get on any high horse with us. I wanted to do that. I might have murdered them, but I didn't burn their homes. That's adding insult to injury. You pick strange things to get morally outraged about. You're a fucking yes, Disney. Don't ever, don't ever speak to me again. As the room burn, burns, they usher you into the next like segment, and it burns fine, no one's hurt, and after a few minutes, the fire dies out, and the majority of the webs are destroyed. Um, the only way you can see forward is a very, very tight and slow, like, it's a, 
incredibly small crawl space. Not crawl space, but like shimmy space. Like it looks it's like it's like single file, like you basically have to go in with your like cheek pressed up against the wall and just shimmy forward. So yeah, that seems to be the only way forward. Guys, what's wrong with this shit ass cave? Like what like what's going on? <laughs> it's a cave. That's what's wrong with it. Okay. Go back in two seconds, okay. Let's do the squish squish. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Uh, the gnomes don't really have an issue with it because they're only wearing leather armor. Fucking gnome. Uh, Malik kind of is a bit of a tight squeeze, given that he's a kind of a chunky dwarf in plate armor. Does anyone have like blasty spells, but like cantrip blasty spells? Uh, no. Um, mm. not really. Damn. Coda, shoot it. What is it? Just to see if we could widen the gap. I don't think that's going to do anything. I can if you want. A, no, a, like a gun would. No, not with stone walls. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just squeeze through. Your wings going to fit. I'll make them fit. Mm. All right, you guys press on. Um, it's incredibly like tightly packed. Um, bits of the rock kind of press against your face and you kind of get little nicks all over your body from like all the sharp rocks jutting out. The surface is wet and like you can feel like small trickles of running water hitting you in the head and such. But ultimately you get through... Oh shit, yes! Uh, oh god, no! Gingy, yeah. <laughs> Everyone should read more of his work. Yes, Jinji Ito is the bay. I read... um. It, I read the spiral one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a hoot. Mm. Darren, what was that name <laughs> last in the chat there? Now I have to go and look. For what? For, for this man. What, what? Yeah, One second. I'll type it out. J-U-N-J-I. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. You. Thanks, <laughs> friends. He's great, man. He's great. It was, I, I, I got awful. like. How long does this passageway go on for? Jesus, fuck. Oh, ages. You guys are doing this. You guys are like basically like crawling, like shimmying in the dark for ages. Like, there's no light source. You just hear like slow trickles of water. Guys, I'm not going to fly. This is really fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> um, can everyone. When you get to about. Yeah. Can everyone make uh, wisdom saving quickly? Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck, Darren. What are you doing? Wisdom saving. Yes, please. Um, if it's a trap, we have advantage. It is not a trap. Okay. My first good roll. Natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Still ran out of It wasted on this, but no. Ah. Okay. I stole all your luck. So far, only Renan and Isadora will see this. Oh, but as you guys are like oh, shimmying, like you can, like the wall basically, like it looks like faces are in the walls. And you guys take two psychic damage. Everyone or just the people who saw? Just, it's just the people who saw. Everyone else is kind of just like, this is mildly inconvenient and not good crack. Wait, who took the damage? Isadora and Renan. Oh. Renan, I need you to not be doing this in the extremely small Renan, space. Renan, oh, if, there's it hel- something in here. if it helps, you can scramble. <laughs> you can, like, vibrate violently, but that's about it. <laughs> guys, guys, we need to get out of here now. What Where are we screaming about? What's in here? You didn't see it? Didn't you see it? What? What? She shuts her eyes. Guys, guys, get out of here. Get to the other side. Or go back, whatever. That's, that's, I'm really We're, we're more we're too far in to turn back. Let's just keep going. Then hurry. Am I in the lead? I mean, like, you wanted. can be if you want. No one's declared who's a leader, so like, if you I'll, want, I'll go faster if that's going to help. Okay, Please. fine. I will. I will. I will lead, and I will. I will. I will start to sco- scooch faster. Uh, essentially, you guys eventually. Essentially, eventually, you guys make it out. 
Uh, with scooching and fronting and vibrating violently, you come to a nice open little cavern. That's not, that, that's not open enough. <laughs> that looks like it leads into a, kind of about the same width of the entrance tunnel, a little bit smaller, kind of like shoulder to shoulder, like two people wide kind of thing. Um, I'm going to just like slide down against like this wall over here and put my head in my hands. Yeah, Renan. Renan's gone a bit crazy. Here, Isidore, what were you talking about, you loon? You really didn't see them. There, Look. There, there, were, there were faces. There were faces in the wall. They were, they were screaming. Oh. How could you miss this? I didn't see any faces. Renan, did you see faces? Yes. Coda, Rizbis, come over here for a second. Um, I go over to Ezra. Yeah, I go with Ezra. Like, completely ludicrous stagehand whispering. It's like, okay, so Tenchu thinks he saw a ghost, and now Isadora and Renan have been seeing faces. They've got the cave crazies, and we need to just make sure <laughs> that we don't go with them. Okay, madness. I think if three people have seen things, that's not just cave crazies. That's, there's something going on here. I mean, you say that now, but we're the ones who aren't crazy. Unless you haven't been telling us, Coda. I think you already know I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. I don't need to see ghosts. How the fuck that I made a deal with the devil, remember? As long as at the end of the day... Oh, it's a child, I'm Coda. Happy. The, the child just wanted your autograph. Oh my God. No, no, that's not that <laughs> devil. The other devil I made a deal with. I've only made a deal with two devils. I'm, I'm going to lose track soon. Um, okay, so while Renan uh, recuperates himself, we're going to take a 10 minute break because it's half 10. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we will be back in roughly 10 minutes. It's usually less. We'll probably, yeah. So 10 minutes on the clock and we'll be back. Cool. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to the uh, I'll be back in. Are we muted yeah, or yeah. down? What? We're we're muted. No, we're not muted. We're the overlay is up. Okay. Oh, we're, we're not muted. muted. No, we're not muted. All right. So B R B. Yeah, same. B. Oh my God. Just, just looking at the Junji Ito stuff is really, really uncomfortable. Yep. I like it though. Hello. Hi. Hi. My room is so fucking warm. Darren, the Junji Ito stuff is making you really uncomfortable. I'm in a good mood. The what's making you really uncomfortable? <laughs> All of the Ju uh, Junji Ito stuff. <laughs> Do you look at the cave one with the holes? Yeah, I saw that one years ago and I was just like, yeah, I never, I never want to be in the mountains ever again. Yeah, yeah, the, the spiral one is... Oh, uh, yeah, like... I got like the tome version of it, so it's like all of them. It's just the entire series. Oh, back you have the actual printed one. 
Well, yeah, the appra- oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's such a great hardback. It cost me like 50 quid, it was worth it. But by the end of it, like, it's, it's just mental. But like, I think it's like something like 900 pages long. Oh. And like 750 out of those pages, it, like, I was more like, wow, that's uncomfortable. But it didn't bother me. But for, I don't know why, because the last like few chapters, the art is in any way more disgusting. It's just, it must have been like exposing my brain to over not, like 800 pages of this body horror. Like the last chapter, I was like nearly vomiting reading it. My whole goat was just, bleh. I don't know why either. It was like, the fuck? It definitely made the entire experience way more memorable. But if you ever want to, if the book is huge, you could literally beat someone to death with it. Like I'll bring it up sometime and let the time. That's how I, that's why I measure all my books. Just like, could I beat someone to death with this? Could you rob a shop with it? The HP Lovecraft one I have is the same as well. Is there a cat or am I going crazy? Is it my cat? I thought I heard a cat. You're going crazy. It's the cave crazies! It's the cave crazies! Ow! If we all fucking go mental in this cave, I swear to god. I mean, don't step on the keyboard! Okay, so. There is a cat! I wasn't crazy! Please get off the keyboard. No, you're still crazy. Child. Baby cat, please get off the keyboard. Look what I have for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, why is it so warm? I know. I only noticed how hot my room was when I came back into it with a drink. I was like, <gasps> We're being punished. We strayed too far from God's light, guys. No, no, we're being punished, punished for being sexy. Yes. Stop stop making friends at my desk. Come here, look. Come over here. Look, all the doors and windows open. I'm just in a t shirt and it's like, oh, I'm still melting. I'm still melting. Mwah. Come over here. Come over here. Hey. That's Tell your cat I said hello. Dora says hi, Artie. Get your butt out of my face. Stop knocking Get shit your ass off. No! All right, there goes handsome Jack. That's what they do. Axel's gone now. <laughs> stop! I already stop! No! I already stop! You're destroying everything. I need to Axel, how's Lucy? How's what? How's Lucy? Lucy's fine. Lucy made friends today down in the park while we were catching Pokemon. Good call. Treaties. Treaties. See, now you're just knocking shit over on purpose. I love you too. I believe, yeah, I believe Laura already asserted that that's what they do. <laughs> they just knock shit over on purpose. Mm -hmm. She's like butting her head against my BB-8 figure. Oh, I, got, I got tree fishies for you. Yeah. Ow, that was my finger. <laughs> Every session of this that we play just adds fuel to my shipping fires, to be honest. Yeah, same. As my intention is just going up code and run, just, just, I'm just starting to ship everyone. I need to start paying everyone else now. You need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I ship everything. Ship all the things. Uh, it is. It has been 10 minutes, bros. Has it? So what? Uh, we're talking about shipping. Calm down. I'll put it to pull up on Twitter. Raise your hand if you ship. Oh god, please put a pull <laughs> up. Oh my god, oh please. yes, I ship, I ship, yeah, do do. I would be so supportive of that. Uh, vote for best ship, but vote who's the power bottom in each relationship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just That's two separate pulls, Darren. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to get it. the best, like, you need to get the best ship first, and then you vote. Yeah, then just make yeah. the polls increase and okay. more disturbing. Okay. do it right now. I'm putting it up on the rat pipe for Twitter. Okay. Once they go up, let me know, Here. and then I'll see. All followers on Twitch, go to the Twitter immediately and vote. I'm back. What are the two, um, what are the options? Uh, Esme and Tenji or Code and Renan? Tensme and Kanan. <laughs> I mean, it could be Ezchu. Ezchu sounds kind of cute. So, <laughs> also, <laughs> rejected Pokemon. Rizbit x everybody. <laughs> no. I kind of ship Rizbit with Esme and Tenju. Like, I think it'd be the good. They'd be the OT3s. Okay, that's our OT3. That's the. What was the ship name for that? We just need another one. 
Oh shit. Ten Rizme. Ten Rizme. Ten Rizme. No, ten Rizme. Ten Rizme. What's my head? Oh gosh. Eat the well, fishies. friends. <laughs> this is what we do on the Wednesday. Right? <laughs> Hell is real. <laughs> Alright. That's enough out of you, cat. <laughs> I thought you were saying that to Darren, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, you gotta get off my desk now, Artemis. I gotta go play... What was the Esme and ship name? Uh... Esju? Are you just... Stop licking things. Move. I have to set up the stream, cat. Darren. Ow! Darren. <laughs> Darren. Go over there and go to sleep, please. What's the matter, Jazz? I know it's hot in here, but you've hot. done. Hey, now you can just continue on with your shtick all you want. What shtick? I played the long game, boy. All right, we're ready to go. So you just it up on the screen. You can't you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with an assassin called Karen. I've been over this. <gasps> oh my god, I'd be so into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, cool. So we're back. <coughs> um, when we left off, um, Renan was having a cheeky cry in the corner. Cheeky cry. So yeah. The uh, gnomes are kind of like, are you uh, good to go? They saw ghosts. They're not real. Ghosts don't exist. Let's keep doing it. Uh, the two gnomes kind of look at each other and then look at Esme and they're just like, oh, oh, hey, and they start to walk ahead. There we go. Guys. Follow, follow closely by Malik. We have to follow the gnomes and the dwarf. Everybody man up, or Isadora and myself and Coda. We'll man up. <laughs> Wait, no, Coda the boy. We're, yeah, we'll man up too. Let's go. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so you guys are pressing on? Ah, yeah, sure. What else are we doing? <laughs> okay, friends. So before you, it's kind of like a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder kind of with you know, The ceiling's really high. It's about maybe 30 feet up. Um... When you get about here, um, the entire area quakes and shakes. And it's just not a fun time at all. None of you are magic. Well, even though none of you are mad. Even though none of you, or like not all of you are magic users, the force, not the force, oh, but the intensity of the situation can, like even people who aren't magic users can tell it's magical. Like, it's just a wave of energy just like pulses through the entire area. And, um, like, all the stalactites, or stalactites above you start to shake. And a lot of them start dislodging and come crashing down on all of you. Rocks fall and kill the party! Uh, deck saves for everyone who doesn't have a shield. I have it. My shield isn't drawn, but can I, like, drop my sword and draw it? Yeah. So cool. Yeah. I'm ready to die. I I feel like this is yeah. This is this is how I go out. Wow, as we're in the same boat. We okay. both have like twelves. <laughs> so basically, everyone bar the dwarf Malik save. Oh no. Stalag like a static mine basically just goes down through his foot. Oh, oh thank god. And like blood squirts up and he starts like shrieking in pain. Tambourine man! Fix him! I why well, don't I have to bear the dying? He's, he's not dying, he's forced. I screams like get it out of my foot and I'll do the rest. I run over to him and I yank it out of his foot. Oh, it's just, it's just in his foot. Uh, strength check, torso. It's embedded in the ground below. Yeah, cool. 
Oh god, don't let him die. Not oh like yeah, him. you you heroically like whoop, 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 ah. out. He kind of clutches his foot and he starts to tremble and he's like Ugh. and then uh, his hands glow and uh, he uses basically laying on hands and top. <sighs> and the wound sews up. But he looks quite drained from the amount of like basically repair he had to do. Yeah. Uh, the two gnomes are kind of drastically like, is everybody okay? Yeah, man. What the fuck was that? Mostly. He's like, I don't know. And I'm okay. kind of scared. Me too. Will you hold me? He's like, okay. And he goes over and holds her hand. Only if you hold me. I, oh my god, that's so cute. I'm so into it. <laughs> uh, I just, Sim- oh, no, King Phil. I just hold their hands. I hold both of their hands and I just... <laughs> <laughs> they feel somewhat more safe now. Oh, I'm so happy. Sybil <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, presses forward on. That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense there, but okay. Everybody follow Sybil. Uh, yeah, it's relatively grand. You, um, there's no more stalagmites falling on you. You just come to an opening with a lot of stalagmites and such. Um, you notice that like Tom has this really weird lantern, and he keeps shining it on walls. It's got a kind of a, a light green flicker from it. And when he passes one of the stalagmites, and um, when the fl- when the light hits it, you see basically glowing as some weird symbol glows, like as the light passes over. It. And he's like, "Ah, they did come this way, dude. What?" And he's like, He's like, oh, it's an old like trade secret. It's like special paint we make. You can't see it, but when you shine a certain light over it, it shows up. It's how like we mark out like which caves to go down and which not when we're like basically doing this. That's cool, man. So he he's kind of a bit more geared you now. He's like, we're on the right track. I'm 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 positive. So he kind of runs off down a bit, and. Uh, you know, Sybil and Malik follow in suit. And essentially he stops at the top of what looks like an incredibly steep slope of loose gravel and mud and just a whole lot of messy stuff. And he's like, uh, we gotta go down that. Wait, what was it? A, a slope? Yeah, an incredibly steep slope, as in it's so steep that you're like your dark vision doesn't show the end of it. Um... How's about we use we use the old pitting and rope technique to kind of ease our slide down? Yeah, that's a solid plan. That's essentially what like the gnomes are doing. Cool, like doing that. Yeah. Uh, but they're kind of like, well, we only have a small rope and a small pitting for like people our size, and they gesture at themselves and nudge towards Malik, who's like hammering it in for them. And me. Oh, and Rizbit. Yeah, Riz, can you um, can you like hammer in one for us, and then we can slide down. I'll try. Thanks, buddy. Um, strength check. You... Can you brought me back my pittance, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, um, you okay, have so I still have, have pittance. Uh, yeah, you hammered in perfectly fine. Um, Sybil goes up to the very edge, crouches down, and clicks her like jaw a few times. Wow! Kind of like you know the yeah. And then she looks back at everyone. She's like, "Yeah, it's not that deep. It'll be fine." I have no idea what you just did. I'm confused. And she kind of looks at you and shrugs, and she's like, eh, "I'll explain it sometime." Cool. And uh, Gnomes kind of attach the rope and they're like, alright, we'll go first. And one of them like strikes like up basically just a spare torch and flings it down. And uh, yeah, it's not like 100% like, oh god, I'm going to fall off the edge steep. But it's like a, a very steep slant, but it just goes on for quite some time. Um, cool. Let's go! Uh, yeah, um, essentially the Gnomes and Malik go down perfectly fine. You kind of, They kind of yell back up to you. It's like, we're down here. I, yeah, I follow on. <laughs> Tally-ho! 
Everyone goes down the ropes, and everyone's all G. When you get to the base, you notice that the wall faces end, and the platform juts out, and all around you is just darkness. Dark. Like, there's a deep, steep edge, you can't see the roof, and when you yell, it echoes. Darkness there, nothing more. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to take my torch and sort of fly around with a hand on the wall and see roughly how big this thing is. Yeah, sure. Um, it's essentially you fly off in one direction and you follow the wall and it's all dandy, but you kind of notice it starts to curve in. Hold on. I read that as a memo, and I didn't know why for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's a memo? Pretty said, big. <laughs> like that time I saw a Polish wash and thought it was Polish wash for a long time. I was like, why? Who did this? Um, as for a ceiling and for a base, you fly for some time and you don't see either. Oh my god. We're going to die here. I go back to where the party is and just be like, shit's big, yo. As he says that, there's a num another colossal rumble, but this one has no magical pulse to it. You just hear kind of rocks cracking and breaking, but you can't see anything. Oh my god. I feel like a creature from another life is coming. And I'm not happy about it. What the fuck? What? Who's playing Portal? There's a turret! On the schlei. Um, guys, is there like so, Darren? Is there a path? It's just that one that we have to hug, is it? Yeah. Uh, how, how oh no, hug! No, straight, straight ahead of you. Oh shit! That's, That's just a wall that like um, Riz, or not Riz, but uh, watch him call Thank you. Let, let us continue into the darkness. <laughs> Oh, you'll be fine. Ghosts don't exist. I'm perfectly lucid, lucid, lucid. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very skinny, again, shoulder to shoulder sort of situation going across, but it's relatively fine. It's completely dead. It's like 100% silent. Like, it's just, just void of anything. I, um, I whistle a jolly tune and call for the tambourine to be played loudly and obnoxiously. <laughs> um, I, I proceed to do so, but um, I'm like tapping it against my hip, like one-handed and trying to get across this ledge. So it, it's, it's not very like harmonious, it's just like a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing that is happening. <laughs> it's, like when um, you beat, it's like when they beat the drums to, um, to time the, the rows of the ship, it's just like... <laughs> Oh, I can do. <laughs> um, okay, so, basically, guys, I'm gonna need. Oh, hold on, let me think of this. Check. Uh -uh. You're not let. You're not getting it. You decided. <laughs> Everyone makes strength checks. Oh, oh you oh, did. My bitch. <laughs> it's it's not to go off the edge. It's purely to keep your foot. So you're not, you don't get fall, fall over. Keep my footing? I'm flying. Well, then you're fine. You don't need to. Shoot him in the face. Oh, so far, everyone's Will okay. Will that be acrobatics to uh, balance? Uh, oh, look at this boy. Is that everybody? No, Isadora. No, there you go, 15. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so essentially everyone's fine, including Tenchu with his cheeky, like, cheating. Um, <laughs> again, a large rumble, but you know it's in this room, whatever is causing it. Like, the, the it's ep epicenter yeah. of the rumble is in this room, and there is a colossal, like, douche, and the platform you're on starts to, like, shake, 
you don't lose your footing, but straight ahead you notice a large chunk of it break off. And it's essentially this. So there is now a small gap. It's about 15 feet. Praying intensifies. Oh my god, guys. I heard about this being done before. Can't you? Wait, shit. Can't you? How tall are you? Uh, like five foot something. Not very. Well, that won't work. Okay. <laughs> I really... How far across is the gap? Fifteen feet. Like, Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was well, gonna use him as a bridge. You just can leave that. Feet you feet can jump it? that though. Yeah, but then we're stepping on his wings, and he'll probably bitch about it. <laughs> Darren, I'd like to take a running jump across. Cool, fantastic acrobatics, please, thank you. God. I died as I lived, doing shit for no good reason. <laughs> Tell my parents they were wrong. What the absolute wall, says me. You, uh... I didn't know. I don't know how, but you missed. <laughs> Did I just run into the darkness instead? Essentially, you <laughs> leap. So, I'm gonna say there is one chance, as in one person rolls, to like, essentially grab for Esme. Guys, don't worry. Reflex. Don't like, so dex. Black. Like a dex saving throw. Who's professional in yeah. saving throws? I am. Don't save me. Let me burn. <laughs> Is it just Tenchi who's proficient in deck saving throws? Mm. Okay, that's for Tenchi then I rules. What's your score? Plus six. You managed to catch Esme before she like <sighs> plummets too far. It's a bit of a struggle, but you basically just kinda like fuck her forward. So she like, you oh, know, damn. clings onto her I Huh? Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, you land kind of like half on the edge, but it's not too much that you have to like struggle to pull yourself up. But yeah, you you could have made it if you didn't cock up such a bad roll. Essentially. Thanks. Thanks, Darren. No worries. No worries, <laughs> man. But you're alive, and it's okay. So the tension just like push the boat, essentially? Essentially, yeah. Damn. Like, as he saw, like, the arc wasn't good enough, he kind of just flew in and gave you a kick up the arse, and it kind of, like, gave you that extra whoosh. So, yeah, guys, uh, who's next? Is it a deck shaft to get across? Uh, both Malik, uh, well, Sybil makes it look easy as fuck, but she kind of just like leaps across and lands perfectly fine. Malik just makes it. The two gnomes are kind of, uh, it's acrobatics. I hold out my hands to try and save like the gnome friends. They are slightly more confident. Yay! Uh, Renan just, just gets it. Buttons a bit. Oh, snap. Okay, Again? Isadora, Isadora, Isadora leaps perfectly fine, kind of gracefully actually. She scored pretty high. Um, Coda again lands on the edge, but you know rocks break from him and he starts to fall down. Try and save Coda. That's a crit. you do with flying <laughs> colors. Can I like grab Renan at the same time? <laughs> Just throw them both. <laughs> sure. So it just like clings to Tenchu feathers oh, wow. and does not let go. Okay, both gnomes make it one of them just narrowly narrowly landing. And now together we... again, Richard and Tom. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay, Rizbit! Rizbit makes it. Oh. The platform behind you starts to crumble and chunks of it fall off. Yeah, how are we? Oh wow, well. I think you roll 20. Coda, 
get your hands off my mans. <laughs> Darn. Yes. I love the squares. I mean that with love because I know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, How it's just... Fine. Oh, man. <laughs> Still works well. It's not particularly spoilerific at all. Cody continues to touch the bird. Right, so the platform before you is stable, and the gnomes um, suggest that you guys make a fucking, like, get a move on. Yeah, I, 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 I hoof to it with the gnome friend. Yeah, the gnomes are basically running at this stage. Yeah. Come on, guys, the gnomes are running. We'll stick with them. Yeah, essentially, you guys make it to the next side. That's all okay. You come to a very, very large opening, but uh, it looks peaceful. You know, there's nothing here. Nothing here to eat you. That we can see. That's true. Um, again, there's a few stalagmites sticking out of the ground. Um, Tom investigates them, and again, he finds another simple, and he's like, we're on the right track. I would like to check the roof down. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. You Perception, I guess. Cool. Oh. <laughs> what is my perception? Plus three. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Good. Yes, that's not dilly dally. Before you is the remains of Rock Slide. Well, rocks fell and killed that party. Yeah, pubes too. There's rubble left, right, and center, but it looks like there's a small gap at the top that you could make it through. But navigating all the loose rocks could be difficult. Does, does no one have any kind of blasty blasty? Hacky hacky? No, they're rocks. You'll hurt your sword. Hmm. Let's 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 all squeeze our our tight butts through the through the hole at the top. Sure thing. I guess strength check to see if you can move such rocks, or effectively do it without, like you know, causing a bigger cave. In Thanks, Renan. Renan does it swimmingly. Malik sh shouts on words of encouragement, and all is happy and well. Guys, have we seen? Like, do we know what kind of like, what kind of class Sibyl is? I'm concerned about Sybil. <laughs> well, she was just clicking into the darkness with her mouth. That's normal, dude. Nah, man. She might be a drider. She's a secret drider. <laughs> uh, as you climb through the hole that Renan has fantastically uh, laid before you, when you get to the other side, you see the remains of a gnome jutting out from one of the landslide areas. Christ, no. <laughs> upon, see, upon seeing this, like, basically it's upper, his upper torso and some of his head, because the other part of his head is under a boulder, um, Tom and Dick drop to their knees and are like, like, basically examine the body. Oh, God. Who was it? And they're like, oh, it's just a... Jeremy, he's my uh, father's bodyguard. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> and they start to dig out some of the rocks underneath it. And for quite some time, they're at, they're at it for about, either there for about 20 minutes. And then it, they come to the conclusion that he seems to be the only body that's underneath it. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hey, you best man. I really hate you. <laughs> Oh no. Map, map really two dark. unlocked. So, so essentially the rock slide and such is here. Oh god, is it going to rock slide to keep us trapped? No. 
Um, the gnomes seem to pay the respects to in one way or another, and then they urge everyone to move on. But they don't particularly seem their cheery selves anymore. But at least it's not all of them. They still hope we can find the rest further along. Uh, Sybil nods as does Malik, and they're like, "Yeah." Essentially, you guys press on into a large room which has two ways. I mean, so the one, so the one south of you. Um. Okay. I feel we should check any and all passages. The the widest way is the probably the smartest way. But when we saw a, a small um, a small passage like this previously, it led to a monster, and I would sooner have us kind of investigate monsters and not allow them to come and kill us if we need to flee. Additionally, if the expedition we were, were looking for were caught in the rock slide, they probably would have followed this side passage to try and rest and recuperate. We might find some evidence in here. True. That's, that's okay. Just stay, if you can stay at the... We shouldn't split up. Code it. We're not going to go far. Oh, we won't go far. We'll we'll just we'll go down far enough to kind of see where it leads out to, but then we'll run back. So you to use to where it's passing on? Who's going down there? I'm I going will. down there. Come, bird love. <laughs> okay. Oh so. my God, as we intend you're going off into the bushes. <laughs> Guys, we're investigating. Jeez. And Tenshu was correct. Essentially, uh, Tenshu was correct. Um, the side passage led to a small opening, and you find remains of a camp. Is there anything left? <laughs> uh, bit scraps of like food, and, like basically ripped and torn fabric. Some of it does have blood on it, but um, there's a campfire, well, with the ends of a campfire in the center. Was it, like, is, is it at all warm? No, no, it's it long, long. long. Okay. We jog back out. Oh, wait, are there tents? And no. Okay. Yeah, guys, Tenshi was right. The um, gnomes are happy at the news as it gives them hope. For the future. Yeah, I, like I'm, I'm sure they kept going. They they rested and then continued on. They weren't stupid enough to kind of, to throw themselves against this gargantuan task without, like caring about themselves. So let's keep going. And exactly. I'm soon. Pressing on the southern tunnel. What's everybody's passive perceptions? Fourteen. Eleven. Eleven, sir. Twelve. Why are we allowing numbers? <laughs> Eleven. Passive perceptions. <laughs> it's a ten, which, you know, I think it's I just good. demonstrated. All right, so essentially you guys progress forward. Whoever's, like, beeping, I'm going to slap. Sorry. Stop being What's popular, saying? damn it. Um... Tenchu notices it first, but it's a little bit too late. <laughs> Essentially, you guys are walking forward in a dark cave, a spooky, spooky dark cave, until you realize that the ground is particularly sticky. Did you use your vomit hands, man? Did you and use can, your vomit hands? Can everybody please make a wisdom saving throw? Oh, dear. God damn it. We're crawling through... Human remain. Or, or, or no mission. Here, block D20. I got Six. Nothing. Okay. Okay, Esme. You so haven't gone through. Renan, so crazy. Esme, ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Renan, are you ready to be the hero your party needs? Because we're going to die otherwise. Wait, who? I haven't okay. gone through. I'm just waiting. I'm hoping. Come on. Okay. Come on, Esme. Yeah. Come on, Esme. Yes. That's kind of okay. Yes, we do. No, no, that's good. Okay, so 
everyone else, bar Renan and Esme, when they realize that the ground is covered in goo, they also notice that goo has little mouths <laughs> and maybe little eyes. <laughs> And everyone who basically scored below 10 is stunned and shocked at the gibbering mouthers that lay before them. Oh my god, that's disgusting. (laughs) So yeah, basically everyone but Renan and Esme are stunned, which I'll read out now what does... You are incapacitated, can't move, and can speak out only falteringly. Attack rolls against you have advantage. You automatically fail all strength and dex saving throws. And incapacitated is can't take actions, right? I believe so. Uh, Oh, actually, this says what that is. Yeah, you can't take actions or reactions. Yeah. So, can everyone roll initiative, please? Sorry, say that again. You finish. Roll initiative, please. Oh dear. Ah, Esme, what the fuck? Oh, Secret tunnel. Jeez, Renan, you're on fire with the roll twenties there. Not today. Maybe later. Darren. Darren! What? You're shit. <laughs> Neil, you, your character is standing in the, like, center of a Givering Matter. Like, yeah, like, and I didn't like, fall to its creepy charms, like all of the other wusses. <laughs> Sybil, help me! I can't wait for her to die. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so sad. It's like, it's not really. It's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> right, Renan, you're up first. All the red. You guys are like smack bang in the center of it. Below you, above you, what have you. All right. Yes, you did. Noise. Uh, it is its go, and it's going to attack you. It's going to bite you back. Eight? I doubt it. <laughs> no, no, that's good. It's, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, it was nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so... um. Oh, welcome back. So, essentially, after it does this, one of the mouths, like, at the base of Renan's feet, gurgles, and a large chemical <laughs> leaps up from its mouth. And can everyone make a deck saving throw? Because you're all within range. No, I would like to not. Thank you. <laughs> Do we get this advantage on deck savings? Oh my god, everyone who's stunned does, yeah. Oh, sorry. You guys automatically fail. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh wow. Code. Code automatically fail or just disadvantage? Uh, I will. I do, 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 do. I don't like know my walls. You automatically fail strength and deck saving throws, yeah. Motherfucker. So basically, anyone who's Esme and Renan, please. Okay, you're Hold safe. On. His fucking last words. Like, legit, yeah. Like, if you saw go south, I know how it's like, I know what's happening next week. <laughs> Who's this lunatic? It's like, well, <laughs> let me tell you. 
Twitch Veggie feels okay. Okay, as we can do this. Yes! <laughs> Both of you are fine. Everyone else is blinded. <laughs> Oh, oh, fucked! You're dead! It's over! Darren, why did you do this to them? Because it's funny. <laughs> I thought you were punishing me. Is this my punishment? I get to watch You're them You're drawing down. well. Uh, <laughs> Rizbit, it's your go. You can't do anything. Would you like to say anything? Oh, actually, sorry, no. You can make a wisdom saving throw. To uh, I will, not be stunned, essentially. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that, then. You passed, my friend. You are no Sweet. longer in stunned, but you are still blinded. Um, can I do anything besides that save, or is that my turn? Uh, that's your turn, sadly. Yeah, that's cool. That's all right. Uh, um, now it's uh, Coda. Essentially, we're just going to go down the line and get saves anyway. So, Coda, wisdom Wizard. saving trouble. Yeah, please, Nick. You are still stunned by the, the, basically the constant murmuring and chattering coming from all the teeth. Esme, it's your go. Uh, so, um, Darren, Yo. would you like to make a deception check so I can have <laughs> attack damage? <laughs> give her a sure give thing. Her. Let me just uh, double check. Was it charisma? Uh, yeah, charisma or deception if they have a deception. A 13. Oh, bollocks. That's what a minus four as well. Yeah, that was just a, that was a good roll. Um, I will just try and attack it with my rapier then. <laughs> because right. there's literally no point shooting the floor. <gasps> okay. Wow. 10 versus AC, Darren? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm thinking the wrong one. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, it hits. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. sorry, I, was, I had the wrong character sheet in front of me. I hit it for six damage with my radio. Nice one. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Tenchu, your wisdom saving for a plus. Uh, one moment. Die, 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 die. 17. Fantastic. You are now no longer stunned, but you are blended. Okie doke. Land the monk. Uh, Isadora. Um, it's a wisdom save, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fourteen? Yep. You are no longer stunned, but are blinded, sadly. Cool. And that's my action, yeah? All right, yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, everyone who's blind wouldn't see this. <laughs> But anyone who isn't blind can notice that the two gnomes and the dwarf are also currently stunned and blinded. But Sybil is clicking like a mad yolk and stabbing at the ground. Is she blind? Is she just a blind person? Her jaw. Her jaw. You know the... So she's blind. Oh wow, she crits. Oh wow, everything hits. She's a boss ass bitch. She does 12 damage with her dual short swords. Oh, wait, no. She does 11 damage with her short swords. Hey, clicky clack, what the hell? Is he Grunts at you, have you never seen a blind woman fight before? I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, no. Because you're an exceptional per person, so don't start with me. <laughs> She looks at you and smirks and says, cute. Uh, Renan, it's your go. I said fire to the ground. Yeah, right. Asher, ah, sure, that doesn't hit now, boy, doesn't it? It does. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was having a giggle. Fuck. Alrighty. Yeah, 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 boy. Nice! This, this thing lets out like a unified like screech. Uh, 
Oh, it's the gibbering Maura. Everyone is no longer blind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's attacking you, Renan. Oh. Crit for Chris. Yeah. And nine damage. <laughs> this is fine. And hold on one second. <gasps> um, the the mouth beneath you gargles a bit, and you can see it has another chemical phlegmy blob in its mouth, ready to rock. Yeah. It is now. It did. It did. Uh, <laughs> uh, Risbit. I'm gonna attack the floor. To the wall, to the thing. floor. Nice one. Oh, God that, oh man, one beneath, sadly, no. Yes, exactly. That was literally my um, reasoning for getting it, for putting this into it, is from beneath you up the nose. Uh, A plus for reference catching. Um, Coda. Oh, sorry, Rizb, is that all you're doing? Sorry. Yeah, that's uh, all I'm doing. All right, cool. Uh, Coda. Uh, yes. Noise, you are no longer stunned. Esme. That's turn, yeah. yeah, that's your turn, yeah. Esme. Okay. Um, Darren, would you like to make another insight, uh, another deception check against my insight check? I got my three. There we go. Ow! Yeah. Okay. Um, let's it see. rolls minus, it gets swole, so it grows arms. Oh. <laughs> Is that the hit? That's to hit, yeah. Yes, you hit. Cool. Uh, I will just roll this. Come on. Take us home, Esme Olgo. I mean, that's a lot of pressure, so... No, <laughs> this don't, is fu don't fuck it up, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It um, lets out a unified scream yet again, and bits of it on the roof fall down, and the eyes close, and the mouth stop gibbering. I killed it! I killed the ceiling! I did it! <laughs> hey, guys, what the hell? Also, Sybil, come here to me. <laughs> she just kind of looks you over, up and down. Like, she does the gesture <laughs> of looking you up and down. Uh, yeah, so everyone, um... Nice <laughs> way um, slowly, very slowly, as it's um, difficult terrain, you guys manage to walk past the gibbering mother. Well, guys, let's hope that um, let let's hope for the best. How's everyone feeling? We can't keep doing this. Oh, you can. There's no end to this. Oh, there he is. It was just a gross floor. Those floors happen all the time. Sometimes you have ants. True, true. Oh yeah, let's go. What's up ahead, Darren? I'm just more born old rock face. Large cavern, relatively fine. Yeah, um, the gnomes want to stop and take a, um, a not a short rest, but just kind of like you know catch their breath from the fucking hor horrendous yoke that you just fought. After a few minutes, they're kind of like, okay, let's rock. But they, uh, they look kind of shaken up. The presence of the gibbering mother definitely seems to have affected them, but other than that, they're fine. Izzy, can you sing a song to make them feel more at ease? Pardon? Can you sing a song to make them feel at ease? Um... We're not taking rest, so I can't cause song of rest, and um, she's too shaken up to even try and Ugh. calm herself down, so no. Ugh. Fine. Be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I think I will. <laughs> good on you. Good on you, Izzy. That's good self-care. Well done. And you guys press on, and essentially you've come to a fork in the road. Three ways. Ooh, sounds good. How many small ones are there, two? Okay, um, 
You should go through the one on the right, because that's the one they went through in the Fellowship of the Ring. Guys, let's um, let's do what they do in Scooby Doo. I'll break up into pairs. <laughs> no. And hope for the best. Izzy and Rizbit, Renan and myself, go down and you. We'll be fine. <laughs> you go down which one? I'm just saying, I feel like we should just split up into three groups of two and hope that we all survive. I veto this idea. Um, well, gnomes are... Hey, gnomes. Darren, I'd like to address the gnomes. Hey, Darren, I guess. Hey, are you guys more likely to go down small tunnels or, like, wide tunnels? Uh, they're like, we have no preference. Oh. We're just, like... I'm trying to think what my father would do and he could have done any of these. You can see they've had an invisible paint of yours or any indication uh, of where they might yeah. have gone. He looks around and he sees one here. The, the wide one? Uh, yes, the wider one. Um, here. Kench. Kenchy. Yeah. We speak. Let's um let's head through the north one just to, to just to scope it out and see how far it goes on and then we'll come back to the, the rest of the team. Fair Guys, enough. if you hear us screaming, come and collect us. There might be another gibbering mouth. Love you. Okay. You guys explored. You notice that the cave walls start to get like more and more tight, and it gets to the stage where you can't actually progress because you're just too large to get fit through. Okay. But from what you gather, it just it eventually just closes up. Um, okay, so that's one route. Let's head back and check the other small route. Darren, the other yeah. small route. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking getting to it, like. <laughs> I wasn't sure you heard me. I was trying to be nice. Oh, yeah, nothing nice like barking fucking orders. Anyway, you come through, you come through oh, this Darren. lovely... <laughs> you come through this lovely tunnel and you eventually get to the end of the tunnel and there is a kind of a pool of water like it not like a shore but it's just like in front of you there's a drop off and there is indeed a large body of water guys we found water I like water too Darren is there anything of interest in the water as um, from what you can tell no it's just a body of water most likely from like a hole in the ground somewhere and the water just came up through um How clear does it look? Uh, it's kind of a bit murky, a bit dirty. Yeah, I was thinking I could get a drink, but I don't think I will. <laughs> um, well, I suppose we should press on. Alrighty, so you guys all progress through the bottom one. Uh, you guys eventually come to a large platform that, much like the previous place, kind of like ends the wall and there's just an abyss essentially everywhere. But in front of you, there's no slope. It's well chiseled out stairs. Stairs. Yeah, I said that really nicely done. Guys, this is, um, this is such a delight. What is going on here? The uh, cavern walls are... Um, lined with some sort of fungus that emits light, so you can kind of see the general scope of this room. Did you uh, just walk us into the Underdark, you fuck? Me? No. Why did I do that? You guys walk, not me. You I'm missing I'm missing this entire thing. But yeah, there you go. Like That's essentially... Huh? I'd like to snip out some drow, please. Hey, like, glowing fungus, although more prominent than the Underdark, is not necessarily bound to the Underdark, so I wouldn't start, like, you know... This is true. Racial <laughs> profiling people. Just yes. I'm an Aladrin. <laughs> my point. <laughs> but yeah, and um, before you is an incredibly large staircase going all the way down to kind of like a, a like a meeting platform sort of thing. The meeting platform looks like it's seen a bit of wear and tear. Chunks of it are missing and such, but the large staircase is fucking huge. It's wide and it's delightful craftsmanship. Um, does anybody else think this might be some kind of weird arena? I'm scared. Let's hurry down. <laughs> Here, actually. Are there any more of the gnome symbols around? Um, they say no. 
they look around, they're shining the light, everyone's like, no, they must have just went this way. No, means can you think why this would be here in this manner when we've been going through a natural cave so far? Um, they look at you and they're like, we genuinely don't know. I, my father was coming here for, uh, to like, basically suss out the cave if it was worth a mining expedition, but this is very peculiar. This is genuine, very talented stonework, and that's not normal in the natural cave, so, like, your questions are as good as my questions, really. Uh, Darren, yeah. could I um, roll history to see if I would have learned anything about, like, old civilizations or, like, old dwarven or mining things in the area? Yeah, go Just ahead. Like, yeah, yeah, like, it's got to be a high enough DC, and okay. even if you do roll it, it's not, like, Kodo would be like prominent in it, but you know. Yeah, yeah, just you, you certainly. As a, as a studious nerd who reads a lot of books. Typical. You would know that there is like the whole like legend of like you know like abandoned cities underground, with, be it drow, usually dwarven, but like it's not like you know unrealistic to come across ancient runes in like quote natural caves because they've just been abandoned or whatever but you kind of just notch it up to oh maybe it's an abandoned thing i'm not sure uh that's fine yeah it wouldn't really change Is everybody okay to press on? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so it actually takes you quite a few minutes to traverse these st uh, stairs. When you get to about here, something magical happens. Oh, no. The rumble, the rumble from, from before, the non-magical one, is heard again. But it is heard from this side over here. And it seems kind of high up. And all of a sudden, half the wall shoot like it's base basically caves out or like bursts open. And a fucking gigantic, like colossal size worm is the best way to do it. It's got three tusks on the front oh, of it. No. And it's oh, like no. as it flies out, it's got like three giant tusks, but in the center where its mouth will be, it's just like a bajillion mouths absolutely like just destroying the rock that it just pierced through. And then it basically flies through the air and crashes into the like what you assume is the base of the stairs, and like t tons of cracks just ripple across like the uh, stairs, and bits of it start to like shatter, fall off, collapse. Yeah. So, um, athletics checks everybody. I can't athletics. That's not fair. <laughs> What are the checks to do? Uh, basically, sprint, outrun the uh, collapsing building. Thanks. Oh, oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god! Izzy, I hold Izzy tight as we both fall to our death. Oh guys, okay, okay. Let me just see all these rolls so I can exactly get a, a, a head count for the tombstones. Right, Darren, I rolled a 13, but I'd like to point out that my speed is 60. That's fair. Also, you can fly. Um, yeah. So if something does go out from you, uh, yeah, okay, so let's see. Da, da, da. Esme, Esme, I'm going to say just because you got zero, you're frightened by what you just saw, so you're kind of like, <laughs> you freeze up. Everyone else, including... Actually, no. The... Oh, wait, hold on. No, did I only roll four? I didn't, yes. Uh, Dick the Gnome didn't do too well. Okay, guys. So, essentially, everyone else who didn't roll well doesn't essentially sprint to the other side effectively. People who got ones <laughs> are going to have to make a dex save. A basically, like, reflex save to not fall off the edge. Darren, I feel like I shouldn't even get a save. Or I should get disadvantaged because I got zero. That's fair. But yeah, the no dick is going to roll anyway. So, a uh, uh, deck save? Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, it's so... Me. You would have to roll a reflex. So, dex. 
Oh god. I got a seven, what do I have to do? Or are you gonna get to that? Yeah, Darren, what do I have to do? Renan! <laughs> Uh, if you all roll, fine. You get to the other side. So you could assist in attaching someone. Okay. Who failed? Did, did, did me and um, Rusbit fail as well? Uh, where are you? Did, six did, and seven. I got a seven. I got a six. You did. So we can't. Are we going down? You're you're making reflex saves, not to like get crushed by anything. Yeah, essentially. So Darren, what am I doing? Because <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my lads, lads, please come on now. I'm not trained in acrobatics or anything. Okay, Coda, you're grand. You managed to, like, jump across onto one of the rocks and not fall. But basically, Dick the Gnome is gone. No! He fell first, and he fell fast, and in between two rocks. So, he's gone. Ah. Everyone, el everyone else is just falling, free-falling at this point. Once I'm safe, can I try and grab someone? You'd have disadvantage, but go for it. Say, someone say it easy. I loved you, Gannon. How do you do a disadvantage roll? 2d20... D... 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 Oh, sorry. D yeah. Disadvantage? I'm just gonna yeah. roll... Hold on. K... KL1. That's what oh, disadvantage is. Oh, nice. wow, that was just me doing a test roll. Alright, so, essentially, this is what's gonna happen, guys. Everyone else, like, all the NPCs bar dick is fine. So we've got Renan, Rizbis, Coda and Isadora falling. Okay. You're not no, Renan made it. No, Renan made it. Oh, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Sorry, I saw, I saw the bad roll. Okay, Wait, how so. many people are falling? Who's on the words? Three. Three of you. Rizbeth, Izzy, and Esme. I cast Feather Fall. That's fair. That's clever. Uh, two seconds. I the wall. Pretty close. You all would have fallen pretty close. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you all Could would have I... fallen pretty close to it. Could I try and bury my hand axe into the wall? You could, but hold on a second. Though. Well, Feather Fall okay. affects the three of us, by the way. That's a no, Ian. He's going to say, he's going to say <laughs> no. Because he's going to tell me I'm dead. No. Yeah. I mean, I feel like... I from be feel like from so. beneath you... It does not devour. From beneath you, an incredibly strong gust of wind shoots up and blasts you black up, back up along with some other debris onto the platform. And standing in front of you, like basically when you land and slap into the ground, essentially looking at you, like panting and puffing and like with gritted teeth, is Sybil holding out an incredibly funky looking sword. It's her long sword that's been on her back, and as she has it extended, basically a small typhoon of lightning and storm is constantly clustering around the sword. And she like, looks like out of breath, essentially. Darren. What? I'd like, I'm, Esme's totally, Esme totally wants to like lay one on. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can if you wish. I totally, like she totally does, but I don't know how that goes down. Like, I'm totally willing for her to get smacked out of a Yeah, form. no, that's what I'm saying. You can do it if you want to do it. So if you would like to do it, you can. Did that affect all of us? Yes. Oh, yeah, caught all of you. Okay. Essentially, when you kiss her, she lets it happen, and it goes full-on shifting. <laughs> and then uh, she kind of pushes you off and is like, that's all you're getting. And she walks back over to like the longsword hill and basically um, pushes the sword with some like resistance into its hilt and mutters something in a language you don't know. Coda would know because it's infernal. And basically the chains that were... Who, who knows infernal? Oh, I just Coda. All right, cool. I'll give you a second. I just close it. Oral funny. Um, and essentially, when she speaks the phrase, the chains that were on her sword now reform and lock the hilt. And it's essentially like close in the inferno. Darren, did you just go off roll 20? Yeah, I yeah. accidentally X'd it when I was trying to close a tab that I didn't need. Now. Yes. I don't know what that is. 
Good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's like not level 99 deception. I straight up don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> um, also, it's worth noting because delicious flavor text, when the sword was out, you could see the outline of like eyes underneath the bandages glowing blue. Like the same blue that the lightning was. Oh my god. Yeah. She, yeah. And uh, she's kind of like, Phew. well, that was a close one. And she goes over and apologizes for not being able to save Dick for uh, Tom. I hold on to Tom. I give him a cuddle. Um, is, has that monster gone? Uh, yeah, from what you can tell, the rumbling has stopped and you can't see it. Okay. So guys, what is that? Um, dwarf, dwarf friend, Malak. Do you, do you yes. know what the monster is? Uh, no, he failed his check, so he does not. Um, religion. Are any are any of you religious that you might um that you also might check? <laughs> Can I try there as well? I'll live on the one. We're good. What's the word of the thing that acts on behalf of a god? Not like a prophet. Well, it's not a prophet, but like I suppose servant. Yeah. Um, like an adversary. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's actually probably a much better word. Um, it's basically an emissary of the great devourer. Ah, that's nice. Um, yeah. Let's let's let's. Also, can everyone call out their AC real quick, for no reason? Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Okay, yeah. No. no, no, it's not passive perception, it's uh, AC. Amy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She's very shaken, she nearly died. It's, it's what, sorry, Amy? Fifteen. Okay, none of you get hit. But three, what you assume are stalagmites when they drop, land around you. They're definitely dead bodies, aren't they, Darren? No, they're not. They're something they're far more pretty. Before you is a small monstrosity. It looks like a triangle. It's basically a squid that can go on land. Think of that. Well, like, in between its tentacles, it's webbed. Oh my god, it's me. Oh! Yeah. Dark Marcus. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Remember that time Abe couldn't get the check to get the magic sword? Before you had three dark mantles. So we're going to roll initiative and go to... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Esme. Esme, you rolled a zero. I still can't get over you. <laughs> like, can we all admit, can we all accept the fact that she rolled a zero? Darren, what would happen if Coda rolled a zero on, like, an attack roll with, with his gun? I don't think I can, because I don't have a minus. Sorry, um, what? You can't oh, naturally yeah. roll a zero. Dark mantles, robots in. Is anyone else seeing, like, the dark mantles look like clan members? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's like the top of a squid, but okay, way to just ruin my art. It's fine, that's grand. I mean... <laughs> as my reconsidering. <laughs> right, so uh, let me just get this real quick. Da -da -da -da. This is my fight. Actually, I'm going to do it. The other way. Um, okay, anyone between 20 and 15? 16. I'm 20. Uh, is that all? Everyone got really shit rolls. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, I got oh wow, he's all the dipshit. I coda is that. And. Oh my god. Uh, oh, well, who do you get? get who do you get? Neil, I swear to god, if it's your shit, I'm gonna fucking murder you. Um, <laughs> this is just a gauntlet of suffering this week. Holy shit. Oh, it gets. It's not that bad. No one's dead. That's true. People nearly well, well, were. Dick's dead. Dick, we lost your sweet dick. <laughs> we lost the, the D. We lost our tiny D. Oh, wait. Chris Benrenan. 
Cool. All right. Awesome. So, guys, it, we're going to start us off. It is Tenchu. Okie doke. Um, going to saunter on up to this lad here and make an attack. 11 versus AC. Uh, I think that... Yep, yeah, hits. Okay. He takes five damage, and I'm going to spend a key point to attack again. All right. Five damage, yes? Yep. Uh, 24 and 11. Both. 24 hit. Yeah, okay. So that's another two damage rolls. Seven and seven is 14, so 19 total. And I am going to... Uh, impose a. It needs to make a deck save or me knock, or be knocked prone. All right, one second. He is twelve. It's a pancake. Can pancakes be knocked prone? I get six. I don't think they're immune to it. Da, 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 da. No, they can be. <laughs> yes, it is knocked prone. Okay, knocked prone. So I... that thing has. I think everyone gets advantage on attack rolls against it now. Mm-hmm. And it has disadvantage on its attack rolls. Okay, cool. Coda, it is you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this one behind, or kind of in front of his door. I'm moving away from them. I'm making a point to move back, and then just aiming right at this thing, and I'm gonna let off his shot. No, you didn't, but we can deal with that later. Um, I'm going to uh, spend a grip point to get dead eye shot miss. Really advantage to hit this guy. Cool. Which one? Ah, okay. That, yes, yes. No, it's uh, Okay, damage. That's 10 damage, and I'm going to use an there. action surge to hit him again. Without advantage this time, though. Yeah, no, that's cool. They've got pretty shiny ACM. Yeah, dude, him. you hit, fuck. Yeah, take it home. Another minute, so that's 19 nice. damage total. Well done, well done. Cool. All right. It's uh, the one in front of Rizbit's go. Seeing uh, his friend get bed up, he's going to waddle over here and attack. Uh oh. Bye, Bert. <laughs> bye bye, Birdie. Nine damage. Not like. Uh, oh, nine to hit. Sorry. Okay, yeah. That doesn't hit. Cool. All righty. Uh, yeah, he misses. And it is now the chap that you've been hitting to go. So he has to use his full action to stand up, correct? I'm not sure. I think it's part of the movement. He stands up. And he is going to attack you. Wow, these are doing really bad. So that's his go. Liz bit. Um, seeing that Denchu is surrounded, I'm going to go over and help him. And in fact, the one that just sort of waddled up to him. Uh, 18 to hit. Yes. 7 damage? Uh, yes. Sweet. Um, yeah, that's all. Cool. Alrighty. Um, with that, it is Renan's goal. Fantastic. Fantastic. This is fantastic. You slap it a slap. You cleave it down the middle. It is a slave. Uh, okay. Uh, and with that, it is Esme to go. Oh my god. Bless you. Um, 
Darren, what kind of terrain are we on? We're on the. Are we on? Uh, the yeah, yeah, it's just it's just regular old rock. But well, are we on the steps? Are we? No, no, you're on the platform. If I were to move back and to move onto the steps to get higher ground, would I get advantage? You would. Cool. Will I do that? With All my... right. And I will Just move yourself to the far back of the board. I will. Yeah. To the stairs to get height advantage. And then I will fire an arrow at the one in front of Finchy. As in the one with the low health? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think I'll be able to. I could, would I be able to hit the one behind Rizbit? Because Rizbit's uh, short. Rizbit is short, so yes. Cool. Um, let's let's roll with advantage and see if um, see if I I I, I wow. Well. What the? Oh, I did. Andy, so that's eight. I did it wrong. Darren, that's 18 versus AC. Uh, you know what that hits. That's so sad. Why do sad things keep happening to me? Ah, oh, you okay. kill it. Nice one. <laughs> Two seconds or someone at the front door. Thank gosh. Dear Esme, why do you suck? <laughs> I'm going to need to make bullets soon. That's going to be fun. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, Cody, you just seem to be a lot of trouble. I'm big. I'm big. Don't be picking me, Cody. It is. Is it all? Okay, I'm going to... Pack of bullets. Move here and cast Ray of Frost on this yoke. Oh, nice one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. But I got the kill. Anyway. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm oh. not going to cast Ray of Frost then. That's fair. But I will fair. give... Alrighty. Um, alright, alright, alright. That one is dead, so it's back to tension. Okay, uh, attack on the one remaining guy. Alright. 20 24 versus AC. Yep. 8 damage. Okay. And spend the key point to attack twice more. So I'm assuming the first one misses, but the second one is a 25. Yes, correct. So one more damage roll, which is a 5 nice. for a total of 13 damage this turn. Awesome. This chap is bleeding out as everything. kill the dark man, It's going to... Um, Release darkness. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, basically everyone around it can't see it. Darn, how far away is that dark darkness? Um, it would probably end just in front of the steps. Who? I but, keep uh, my yeah. boat trained on looking for another one of those creeps. Uh, yeah, that's its turn. And with that, it is cold. This is like a magical darkness, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you're all So, dark vision doesn't help? Nope. So, if I was to try and hit it, I'd be with disadvantage? Correct. Oh god. I'm gonna give it a try anyway, and if I shoot Rizbit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was how he died. So, it's I... 2d20 KL one? Yep. Yeah. Guys, remember when Rizbit was alive? Still 17. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. I have a plus yes. 8 to hit. I'm pretty decent with this gun. Okay. Um. That's 13 damage. You let off a fucking colossal. And you hear a slip or a smack, a screech, and the darkness dissipates instantly. Who did I hit? You hit the dark mantle. No, I'm in character. Oh, what? Oh, right, okay. I'm just it in character. I yeah. can't see anyone. I'm just calling out who uh, did I hit. As, this, as the f darkness dissipates, you notice that half the Dark Mantle's head has been blown clean off. And it's like... Do, 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 do. I play that. <laughs> yes. On the tambourine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, that's the cavern ahead of you. It's grand. The gnomes are like, we have to find somewhere safe to set up camp. So we they... can head back to the gnome camp. Or continue on. Half Did you forget st- that the stairs half a, half a staircase is missing? I mean, I'm sure we could think of something. You guys are just looking at problems. I'm the one who's talking about solutions. <laughs> Well, it's still going for me. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's still there. It's still going. Yeah, it's still on for me. <laughs> you eventually come out to a platform here. Very large platform. And off in the distance, amongst the, like, Ruins, bits of sunlight are actually coming through some holes. The white dot, very far off and very, very far down. You can see what looks like a city. Oh man, this is broken and decrepit. Some spires have toppled, some are crushed into each other. Your right is some steps that lead into an entrance to the wall, essentially. It's like it's been caved into the wall. And the Gnomes seeing it are shocked and bewildered and being like, are all like, Father, why didn't you tell us about this? And they suggest and they suggest sleeping here tonight on this. Yeah, let's sleep close to the wall though. That's fair. Man, this is some effed up ass. What the hell is going on? <laughs> um as you guys are readying for bed, Malik and Sybil offer to take watch as they feel they haven't pulled their weight, as you guys have been doing most of the fights. So they say, you guys get fully rest up. We haven't really, like, expended a lot of our abilities, like, not in, like, video game terms, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like we'll yeah. take, we'll, we'll switch watches so that way you guys can get a proper night's sleep. Thanks, Sib. Love you. Thank you. And yeah, that's it, guys. A spooky unnamed city under the rocks. This can only go well. True. Bad guys, we're back in Varna. (laughs) We'll call the Shanu. He'll help us. The Shanu is dead. Meta gaming on a whole new level, (laughs) using out of character information for another campaign. So yeah, you guys rest up. It's a nice night. It's not too stuffy. You had a nice dinner. You know, you cooked a proper dinner. You just go to bed. All G in the hood. And then you're woken up by the sounds of clashing steel. Of course you are. And then we're going to leave it there. (laughs) Sybil! So yeah. I love Sybil. I've got got a huge... Like, I have a huge crush on Sybil. I want to. Yeah, she's so cool. <laughs> it's like episode six, the party. <laughs> it's like, it's always sunny. The gang bang Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> we just rolled oh, into gang banging very quickly. <laughs> it always does. What? What ship? Just the gang and Sybil? <laughs> yeah. That's, Sybil a, sol- that's a solid um, ship, in my opinion. I mean, I ship it. Like, I ship Sybil with the DM, so, like, you know. <laughs> Myself, man. Hashtag love my fictional girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that feel when fictional girlfriend is not real wifey. Huh. Alright guys, sure, we'll leave it there for stream wise. So thanks for tuning in. we we stream every Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Sure. And we'll be back next week. To see where Yay. what is causing the clashing of steel. Cool. Also invented this fucking city. Oh, oh my the god. Si- the city is fucking miles away, though. Yeah, but still, man. We're still going here. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> it's time for bed. Night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.